But I, li I like the fact Hang that... Hang on, we're going is... live, I'm warning you. Um, okay. Doesn't work, of course, but I'm trying here. Um, I only talk to him when I'm getting paid. Hello, I'm everybody. Doing. We are <laughs> hopefully <laughs> live now. Ugh. <clears throat> Why doesn't this work? Why does nothing ever work? Um, yeah, we'll be back <laughs> with more live stuff. In if we are not live, minute. you don't have to tell it, I think. <laughs> I think people can hear you but not see ah. you, which some have described as the sweet spot, but it's yeah. not what we're going for long term. Are you sure? Mm. I can see you on Chess 24. Yeah, uh, I can you. see myself, but I can't yeah. see you on the screen, which is really the hope. Yeah, but. <laughs> okay, agreed. <laughs> and we're going to talk about advanced technology, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you were the first one to, to give the wrong time on Twitter. Yeah. No, no. I'm really sorry to point that out. And uh, I, I hope we stay in a friendly term during the show, but... Uh, you doubt <laughs> yeah. it, right? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Or maybe the match will be over by now. I don't... <sighs> We are live, I'm just very clumsily trying to adjust the layout, so it's our yeah. usual. Highly professional show here on Chess24.com. Welcome everybody to another action-packed day. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I am especially thrilled today to be joined by my supervisor and my other supervisor in Team Carlsen, Peter Heine Nielsen and Laurent Fressinet are here and what we will be talking about is i don't know what we'll be talking about computer chess the final of the tcec 17. peter you're the expert on all of this stuff what are we talking about well we are watching a hundred game match between uh, stockfish and uh, leela to basically well decide who is the unofficially the strongest um, chess entity or whatever you would call it on, on, on the planet, right? Um, there's been a long qualification process um, with various engines uh, competing, but um, uh, Leela and Stockfish ended uh, first and second in the super final, and now they're playing a 100 uh, game match to decide uh, who, who is the, the better. Are you following these matches closely? Are you following like live or do you watch the games? What's your process there? I me. Mean, yeah, I'm following it live. I actually think it's uh, amazingly interesting uh, chess uh, content. So uh, I'm definitely uh, following it as a fan, like any other sport. I mean, rooting for one of the players, thinking the games are interesting and such. I think it has uh, actually quite amazing chess content. And while, well, for most it's too weird to follow a computer playing a computer, I think, uh, well, if you care about understanding chess and such, there is. Uh, well, great entertainment and a lot of uh, interesting knowledge. So it's you and Daryl Morey, yeah? There's like two live viewers of this thing. It's the two of you. I think there is a couple of more. I mean, hi to Matthew Sattler, for instance, and such. I mean, uh, well, we are, it's a small group, but uh, well, we have a right to exist. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no judgment here. Laurent, have you, have you followed the event? Yeah, kind of. Of course, much less uh, closer than our friend Peter Heine, who is, um, who is a computer expert, let's say, in our team. Anyway, yeah? I mean, he already disagrees with me. <laughs> I see your face, Peter. <laughs> no, I'm just here to... I'm just a, a, a bait to, to attract our special guest, no? It's what, I, it's what I thought, actually. I always thought of you as the social glue that holds yeah. all these things together. I've told you that many times. <laughs> I, I, at least on Twitter, it seems these days, I'm just uh, <laughs> the glue to... Are we going to do a secret on wheeling at some point? How does it work? I'm not sure. Uh, like... um, yeah, I tweeted already that the name of our special guest rhymes with, with Punish Siri. I'm slightly regretting it because I think I could have gone with Spanish Theory. Which would be a chess angle too. No, I'm glad that thanks to a bit. I mean, I'm taking some credit for the new friendship between uh, Peter and uh, 
and our special guest. I Don't mean, you like, think they are upsettingly close? Like on Twitter, they agree on every single topic. They compliment yeah, each other. Yeah, but I'm, jokes, I'm, I'm like... taking, I'm taking, I'm definitely taking credit for that. Um, I'm quite, quite proud actually. So you think you are the common enemy that has reunited <laughs> Peter Heine and Anish? Yeah? Not. Uh, I mean, I'm, pa I'm part of the, of the. Um, I'm part of the stuff, you know, like, uh, there are many, uh, uh, as, as Peter uh, said, there are many uh, common interests, but uh, that one mocking me is as well, I mean, part of the fun, I think. This is part of the show, or we are sort of dragging time until someone fixes the tech problems? Or... No, this is all live, this is quality content, Peter. Right? <laughs> oh, okay, no, just... Um, okay. So we should give people a little backstory before we get into the actual chess we did this preview for the candidates tournament and while we were expertly judging anish giri in a bunch of different categories laurent gave anish zero stars out of five in fighting spirit and anish is... has not taken this lightly he's mentioned <laughs> it in around 80 posts and references on twitter he's even trying to to learn french <laughs> after that and but uh, that failed you see, i mean he, he said fighting that like fighting crazy. spirit is mentality which is i mean i'm going to give some some uh, some french lessons if he wants but this is combativity not mentality so that was close but uh, that was a very good tie and i appreciate that i hope he's listening to my french shows and he will <laughs> improve <laughs> slowly but surely <laughs> I'm reading in the chat, Mathematic is saying, can we just have Jan, Peter and Laurent talk 24 hours a day, like some weird reality show? I would actually, not 24 hours, but 12 hours a day. I think we could do it because I'm not sure how you guys feel, but I'm going a little mad after one month in isolation. And I can't believe I was gonna say that, but I miss talking to you people. <clears throat> how are you guys doing? Yeah, I agree, but uh, being confined uh, with you guys, <laughs> it's not exactly a life plan, <laughs> but for me, I mean, I but, agree, yeah. I agree, but yeah, I fair, miss uh, being allowed to go out and I don't know, sit somewhere, ideally in Thailand, obviously for like a couple of days or weeks and then go back, you know, that's, we're used to being at home alone, no? but <clears throat> to, you know, the, thing is about the, the right dose. I mean, for me, somehow this quarantine. I have some similarities with uh, when we were training for the Anand Gelfand match. That sort of uh, the first two weeks, everything was great. I was running all the time in great shape, eating healthily. While after a month, everything collapses. You start doing anything healthy. You just end up eating chocolate after midnight and all kind of crap and such. And uh, you collapse. I think uh, well, quarantine a week is no no big deal. But now it's been a month, and somehow it uh, seems to get get to to everyone, including me. Yeah, I think yeah. we've been on a similar arc that the first week or two weeks, of course, everything that happens is very serious and very sad, but it also makes you a more engaged person. I was following the news. I was feeling less full of hatred for my many enemies than I usually am. It feels like we're one big world community. We're in this together. And now week four, I'm as depressed and hateful as ever. It's good to have you back. <laughs> All right, so shall we look at some chess? What's the score in this match? It's like equal 17-17 or something? No, I think uh, Lila is plus two at the moment. If it's I'm, tw tw 20 to uh, uh, 18. Yeah, yeah, it's actually broken uh, sort of three a bit, which is... Uh... He, won he won two of the last three games and... Uh, yeah. Um... I think uh, Elster League was shifting a bit, but uh, maximum by one point. But now... Um... Lila is up by two, which is uh, quite a big lead, despite that there is, uh, I don't know, something like 63 games left, 61 games left, right? He busted uh, your beloved uh, Dagon, no? Yeah, yeah that, there were some very interesting games there, actually. But, yeah, uh, no, I mean, really like, good. no, but it looks so, I mean, you are playing the Dagon and uh, you have this very sad end game. Um, okay. No? I mean, yeah, it looked yeah. quite, quite sad to me, but... Uh, uh, there we go. I'm not sure if this is very visible, but not at all. Twenty to eighteen. The score. Yeah. Yeah. 
did you coming into the match this might be lack of knowledge on my part I thought Leela has to be a favorite. It felt to me like his chess understanding is better than Stockfish and they would keep making it stronger and stronger and Stockfish wouldn't be able to, you know, keep the pace. But it doesn't really feel that way, does it? Well, I actually thought Stockfish would be quite a clear favorite in the match. I understand that they played half a year ago and uh, Leela won by a small margin, but then I think that was number uh, sort of um, well they they don't have years they have league so this was league number 15 but in 16 uh, Stockfish won the final against some uh, other neural network but Leela didn't even qualify and um, well at some point Leela was even not really looking to qualify for the final but then it, it did but sort of based on the first games I thought it looked like Stockfish was dominating and it was actually difficult for Leela. I mean, they are two sort of very different entities. Um, Stockfish is a huge calculating beast, while Leela has uh, much better understanding. And Leela will typically outplay, but has difficulties winning. While if uh, Stockfish actually gets the better position, it can sometimes calculate till the end and win like that. And uh, well, especially there was one game where Leela got into time pressure and somehow, well, it had a better position but couldn't break through and somehow it just uh, collapsed and lost it and I thought this would happen uh, quite often in this time pressure phase but it hasn't happened the, since. So. The, the one he gave one pawn after another, yeah? Yeah, exactly. It started giving okay. up pawns because uh, it couldn't break through and, and such. That and, was... Well, also now we have, I think Leela is kind of in time pressure here but I assume you can do nothing uh, wrong uh, at this stage, right? It's just going to be a draw. Right? The game yeah, started can... one after another, right? So we hope this yeah, yeah, is going to be drawn quickly and then we can before. look an exciting game. I mean, this yeah. bishop on b2 will be pretty hard to, to activate. Uh... No, also when I, I mean, we talk about that, um, well, Stockfish is a calculation beast. I mean, so is Leela, of course, but on a much lesser scale, but it still has considerable amount of computer power. It calculates better than most humans, obviously. But there has been a couple of games where a stock is just out, out calculated and maybe also we will, will show some of those i mean there is a position i think where stock is just says it's tactically winning and leela grass it's uh, extremely late and such. but um, so the typical for... format is that leela outplays it positionally and then uh, calculation comes into to play and uh, it gets uh, yeah goes one so way yeah first uh, noob question because okay peter is really the expert here so about the ratings I mean, the ratings of each um, computer is uh, 3850 or something. You think it's kind of realistic, let's say. You think we're expecting uh, 1000 points difference with humans? I mean, well, I mean, that would mean that Magnus has uh, no expected score. Of course, uh, Magnus would make uh, some, some draws. I mean, it, it's compared to other computer programs. Yeah. I mean, you think it's of course? I was talking to Swidler about this the other day, and we weren't sure. Like, is Magnus... Yeah, let's say Magnus plays 10 games with white. How many draws do you think he makes? Does well, he know? Ah, okay. I think, I mean, you and I would have a decent chance of drawing Alpha Zero or Leela with white, because it's not told to beat you. It will just play the position. I mean, I think there was this famous game with, um, I forgot who it was, but um, when Alpha Zero sort of uh, got public knowledge, they auctioned away a game against it, um, sort of for the London Chess Classic uh, Foundation. And uh, well, they actually played two games, one with either color, but with white, they drew pretty easily because they played a rookie one Berlin, stopped everything, and Alpha Zero was happy. He played a perfect game. I mean, you have to start, you know, altering things, so Alpha Zero actually understands has to win all the time, which is not the normal thing. Um, I mean, well, that's how we can make a draw with engine. But uh, if you somehow could uh, force it not to play theory or, I mean, force this, that you cannot force a draw, it would be different. And I think, of course, uh, if you start rating only games that are decided, yeah, maybe 3,800 is correct. Because it's going to be practically impossible for a human to... So a lot would depend, I don't know, on the opening book, let's say Leela or Stockfish has some minimal opening book yeah. to get fighting positions. I can't see myself making a single draw, frankly. <laughs> no, no, I mean, if they 
if they twist it in some sense that uh, you might get a better position but uh, well that well it never takes uh, perpetual and things like that uh, i'm sure you it go it will go horribly wrong for you obviously yeah, for, for, for every human being Laurent, how do so you that, feel uh, could you draw i can i can white? see i can see peter making a door against the machine <laughs> that's all i have to say but uh, yeah no no i mean i trust peter on his uh, expertise uh, i would say and i um have to agree with him so yeah i mean depends if you play for a draw as well or if you play a normal game let's say if you don't tell magnus he's playing against a computer then probably has no chance to to make a door yeah, yeah. no i think very I mean, <coughs> this uh, stage has uh, passed but actually this stage is somewhat similar because um Well, Leela is human. Leela is uh, trained to have intuition, like uh, Alpha Zero. Uh, I mean, so it's basically a human-style player, but with, of course, being a, a computer and then being able to have some kind of calculation. But still, there is this humongous gap in the calculation powers between the two. So, I mean, this is very much a match of intuition versus the raw power in many ways. So it's it's similar to human uh, versus computer. It's just uh, well. That's what we can do nowadays because uh, having human computer matches straight up doesn't make any sense. But look at you. I mean, like to, to make up your, your your point. I mean, look at the current position. I mean, it's actually amazing from a very safe position with white. I mean, from human perspective, it looks now very scary for white. I mean, you have this yeah. king on h4. The queen is on h5, a bit stuck. Uh, if you go queen f3, probably I will go behind with the queen, queen g1 or something. And suddenly it looks like they close to mate, but actually it's uh, probably just zero. So. I'm uh, I'm not sure, but I would guess King A3 is the only move, and everything else loses. The, the, your engine <laughs> right. says that the below. The, the, ah, because my threat is Bishop E8, yeah, huh? and Queen F3, Queen G1. Okay. <clears throat> actually, if you go Bishop B, I mean your second line computer, Bishop B6. Ah, uh, sure, you I guys mean. aren't helping my my Hollywood intrigue. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop b6, bishop e8. Let's see some chess. Finally. Finally. Queen g3. How how do you lose that? Queen h1. Just slowly. Ah, queen g3, queen e2 or what? Bishop h5. Wow. wow. We could be wrong, by the way, because we're analyzing stockfish versus leela with a weaker version of stockfish so he's probably biased towards stockfish. let's let's show the line minus 18. If, if king takes h5 queen h1 and it's beautiful it's really some beautiful. random position that's why humans can't make a draw it's just possible <laughs> yeah some humans yeah <laughs> but no but also i mean this is this game is still very typical you can see that uh, leela is mini outplaying uh, stockfish at least from a human perspective To us, yeah. it looks like it's outplaying it. To, to Stockfish, well, it just thinks, okay, I have this uh, exact calculating move, and it's going to be a draw. Why would I care about it? It's scary for, for a human, right? But uh, for us, it looks like Leela is constantly, you know, moderately outplaying uh, uh, Stockfish, right? I mean, as, as far as I understand, that's what you're saying. Yeah. I agree with your point. Mm -hmm. Wow. We have agreement. I'm trying to team up with Peter. But while waiting also, for the I mean, we really guest. hope this game will be a draw so they can start again but sometimes i mean yeah. they had games i don't think they got into move 200 but they have gotten very close and uh, that's well, uh, that, that is how chess is if nobody blunders or sort of uh, tries to i mean i guess some humans no well, maybe some humans would play on in this position why not right i think they would that's of course i mean why not yeah, yeah you're saying i would i mean there's no like no no much risk i mean But how uh, unlucky, I mean, we planned this show for three days, and I'm that unlucky that they are now playing the uh, French defense. And Why unlucky? Game, I mean, because, okay, you will come up with Yeah, some, maybe uh, we should explain that uh, concept as well to the viewer, Yeah. right? How does this work? It's, whatever, 100 games, and the openings are predisposed by a panel of experts, or how do they get chosen? I think one or two experts actually uh, something like that and it's basically well if you make them start from playing from the starting position i think nothing is gonna happen right i mean uh, well there will be way too many draws and i think also 
I guess they will just start repeating the same two games with either color, right? Because the, I think generally the engine should end up with the same conclusion all the time. So they force them to play some interesting unbalanced positions, and then they play them with both color. So, I mean, the next game we will see is going to be um, Lila being white in the same line of the French. And they basically cut, uh, I mean, positions after anywhere from, in principle, one move to, I think, move 12 or 14. And then they start playing from there with, with either color. And I think also they try to find positions that are unbalanced by nature and not necessarily equal, but they could be somewhat advantageous for white or even black, but never a winning, but something that uh, it actually gets sort of the games uh, going. So maybe it's a bit similar to having the serve in tennis or something like that. Sometimes they also flip in a king's gambit where black typically would be better. But uh, I think, for instance, some rounds back, there was a King's Indian where both players actually uh, won with white. I think, well, they, they were playing some line. Casper had played many times with, with black, but the uh, computer seems to think white has an overwhelming edge there, and both both engines won beautiful games. I think we will actually have to look at uh, the game that Stockfish won, because that's where it unleashed a, a very beautiful piece of just to add something to what Peter said, I did my homework, and there's three times that uh, it was uh, like both games were were won uh, by uh, White. So it was in KS attack, in this uh, E4, B6, mm -hmm. and uh, in this King's Indian with G3. So that was, I guess, the wrong pick from the... Depends. It's hard to say, but... Um... But this this game is actually extremely beautiful. If you uh, this is the I one stockfish wins with white. Sorry, the one stockfish wins with white in the G three. Yeah, right. I think if you go to the position after thirty one queen h four. I mean, well, you can see, show the opening, of course. I mean, this line Kasparov was playing with black when he needed to to beat some people. Uh, I think e six well, in the old days. Queen h five. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. That, that's they played in the next game, but the. Well, I think there is a Yusupov Kasparov game and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, well, some very interesting complex battles. But, uh, well, uh, Stockfish plays it quite differently. But, well, what I want to talk about is the position after 31, Queen H4. So, white is a pawn down, but builds on the king side. Yeah. I think here either player says it's something special for white, but um, then it turns a bit soon. H4, H5. Do you think Stockfish learned this from Lila Zero? Did they put it into his code? That would be my guess. Um, I mean, also some earlier games that they, Stockfish plays like this. I, I don't, well, I have no clue about how to program and such, but it would be very logical that Stockfish uh, programmers were sort of trying to learn some themes and then trying to get them into their, their code. But, uh, well, we should ask someone who actually understands. Laurent, no, how does this work? Yeah, exactly. But I think at this moment, if I remember correctly, Lila thinks it's doing great and uh, Stockfish says it's winning. I understand that your Stockfish is not saying it, but... Uh, well, well it's, it's I slower mean, engine we just use. Ex life, well, so. and we are not talking about that US is a slower engine. It's a extremely slower engine, right? Um, I don't know. I assigned it two cores because all my focus is on having you on screen at higher quality. Well, so we can't trust the stuff for deeply. But now he's up to 0 0.23. Yeah, uh, I think it will get quite quite higher. But the, the, the whole point is some very deep combination that basically happens. And I think... Well, Leela spots it very late, but if you well just go forward with the game, it's a pretty forced line. So if well, you you play c5 to get rid of the rook. Um, rook d7 happens, right? What does it do now? B4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And f6. f6. Right? Now Stocky is saying it's winning. Yeah, but the the whole point comes a bit later. So what king king h8? Rook f7. Bishop c6, double, stopping doubling on the seventh, it would kill. Mm -hmm. Now, well, rook g7 is an awesome move. What's the point? Uh, I'm already confused. Yeah. Best move. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> um, 
Maybe h6, f7. Yeah, I think maybe rook g8, you need to have h6, something like that, at mm -hmm. times. So c3 happens. Bc3, and now, well, Leela has spotted it by now, but try and make the move bc3. Comes an incredibly beautiful forced line. So, well, you play rook f1, threatening, uh, well, you protect the f6 pawn. Yeah, h6, f7. <laughs> and if he goes c2, so you go queen g4. This threatened rooks h8 and uh, uh, maiden g7. So rook g8 is forced. And then you have the move h6. And this is just completely crushed. Um, well, you're threatening rook g8 and uh, queen g7 and, f and then fg7, rook f8, mate. And if he takes a queen, you can play like this. Take, take. Queen g7, take, take. King g8, like this, and take the rook. Mm. And the point is that, well, Beautiful. this line, Stockfish is spotting far, I mean, quite quite further away because it has its amazing calculation skills. While Leela gets it uh, very late and then, uh, yeah, yeah, just gets out calculated. It's an incredible line in my opinion. Is that why maybe we overrate Leela a little bit? Because we have so much respect for its understanding, but in practical play, being able to calculate way deeper than the other is also a giant factor. Why do you think Loran is much higher rated than us? <laughs> I'm not much higher rated than, than you. Than Laurent, I would like this to state. Oh, sorry. The record. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Well, Undeservedly, but come on, of course. <laughs> I'm playing too much. That's a problem. Yeah, I think that 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 hurts. But that doesn't help, no. Chess is about calculation, uh, of course, but uh, it's still impressive that uh, Stockfish can out out calculate uh, uh, with which such line. But well, also if you remember, quite often Alpha Zero would completely crush Stockfish tactically, but here it's a bit more equally. But Alpha Zero was Leela with more calculating power? How can I imagine that? Uh, I don't know. Me uh, neither. It's a genuine question. <laughs> I don't yeah. get how this stuff works. I think also Stockfish has gotten consumed. I mean, well, as I spoke, I think Stockfish has learned from Alpha Zero. They've updated a lot of things. Anna okay. Boris is saying life is about calculation. Wow, it's a big statement. <coughs> Yeah, so they're about to make a door, I guess. I would think so, but sometimes these drawing phases can, can last half an hour. Sometimes they just repeat or something like that. Because um, it's some kind of puppet where they have two minutes each. Maybe you can show like us, like Peter, I'm very uh, curious actually, what are the numbers? These numbers when you look at the page of... Uh... Ah, yeah, we can put up a oh. screenshot of that. What numbers? This graphic you sent? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I have no, it, I have it, I just didn't understand it as usual. A position from the TCEC side, yeah? This one? No, not this one. The other one. What's the other one? I only have just a one. diagram and... Uh... Techia will need hours and hours to track that down if I don't have it in here. Well, just go to the TCEC side, side live, basically. Mmm... What to you is second nature, just go to the TCEC site. To me, it's just a very foreign language. TCEC. And, and what happened in this game? Uh, EBDB, so I'm familiar with. Yeah, no. Then you're... Just for one, one more question uh, for Peter. So game 31 and 32, it was a Berlin and Nidorf, so they just entered one E4 as a first wolf. Yeah, that, I think also that is part of... I mean, one game they can have where actually, you know, that they play... Uh... They start from scratch, yeah? Well, they start from scratch. I mean, then, well, why not do it once? It makes a lot of sense. Of course. Uh, but if you do it 50 times, well, you're just going to repeat the same game. But yeah, it will be once, like... I am on the TCEC side, I'm yeah, not yeah, sure yeah, you yeah. guys can see this. Mm -hmm. Where should I go here? It, it would be like 100 Berlins, yeah? Hopefully, but uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peter, what do we need to... Where should I go? 
Yeah, yeah, we can see also which kind of Google apps you're getting. You are very illiterate. <laughs> Read a book, you idiot. Yeah. Mm, report this ad. Yeah, yeah. Not interested in books. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that's great. Anyway, um, well, okay, the evaluation is simple, but again, it's typical. Dogfish just calculates everything and says it's equal, while Leela is a bit more intuitive and thinks that, uh, okay, um, I should be a little bit better here, right? But, uh, well, it's not. <coughs> What's up, TCEC stream chat? <laughs> uh, well, let's say this, this 0 30 means uh, for Lila that uh, his opponent has more chances to go wrong than him, yeah? Something like that, yes. Um... <laughs> well, you can just say yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> can. This is just <laughs> out of question, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. That is true. <laughs> Oh, but I you thought look it at was the... exactly that. I mean, like, okay, on the average number, I win more games. Yeah. If you look at the other numbers, right? I mean, for instance, uh, well, you can see there is 248 uh, against 76 or 78, right? Yeah. This is how many moves they are calculating. But uh, it's very different scales, right? I mean, it will basically like, I mean, it would be writing, okay, Laurent weighs. 42 kilos, while I weigh 0 0.11 tons. I mean, it's just, uh, but it's completely different scale here, right? So, because this is uh, mega notes, while the other one is kilo notes. So, I don't know, maybe is Stockfish calculating like 2,000 times as much? I mean, I mega, think I'm overweighting our special guests, no? Uh, sorry? I'm overweighting. Someone. Could be, I, yeah. I will be overweighting someone in the show. Probably, later on, yeah, no? yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Not sure. <laughs> no, it's close. But uh, no, but also, I mean, you can see 200 uh, mega notes per second. Well, you can also see it down there. It says 3.2. That Stockfish has now calculated something like 3.2 billion moves, while Leela has calculated 4, 564 thousand moves. It's completely different universes, right? So, I mean, the calculating power they have accessible is um, just uh, very different. Or actually, they're supposed to have similar hardware, but uh, it's about the structure. I mean, um, well, Stockfish is calculating a lot, while Leela is a completely different entity with a lot of intuition. And sort of, for Leela to calculate one move, takes just much longer time than it takes for Stockfish to calculate one move. So it's, uh, well, it's very different in that sense, but sort of here you get the actual numbers of how many, you know, calculations they are, they are making. That's mm -hmm. uh, oh, just a massive uh, difference. And, uh, yeah, I think that was the same when Stockfish played against um, uh, Alpha Zero, and that's basically the fascinating part that we have basically always been saying that um, well, computers are, are more intelligent than humans, and just because they can outcalculate us. Well, we have better intuition, but they have actually created these kind of beast that has the amazing intuition, uh, and that is uh, well, that's very weird and fascinating. In some sense. And, that's and why what I... about uh, this T TB hits? TB is table-based hits. Ah, okay. You can see that. I mean, Stockfish is calculating so far that it actually has gotten into table-based more than 10 million times. While well, uh, Lila has gotten there zero times, it just hasn't calculated a line that ends in table base. So, I mean, that, that, uh, yeah, that's it. And it's just fascinating that despite this, I mean, humongous edge in calculation, Lila is actually still leading the, the match. And uh, that, um, well, intuition, even for computers, will make a, a difference. Okay, the game was a good, uh, you see, game drawn, we start a new one. And this starts from here? Yes. You can okay. see the in the notation. Yeah. The green moves are the first one, and uh, well, now we will get some blue moves from, from when this happens. Ah, this I didn't get as well. I mean, like I'm learning a lot. I knew, I knew uh, to come. I will yeah, learn. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm all, always learning a lot from you. Why don't the chat disappear, disappear now? An open list. Okay, what is? Ah, it's a new open? game. Yeah, it's a new game. You're all right, Tech Young. We'll revisit that. Mm -hmm. Did you know, Jan, that the, the, the green move were first and the blue move were, were <coughs> at the game? 
Um, I did not know that. Also, I'm not proud of this, but I had never been to that site, so I know very, I... very little about all that stuff. Like, I, I look at the games, but I download them, but <clears throat> I haven't followed that at all. I'm going to the site. Oh, maybe now I got viewers away from your site into the main site. That's no, right. that's perfectly fine. Like, we want Daryl Morey and you to have some company there. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah. Ah, oh, poor guy. He must be, yeah, not much to do these days. Not sure. So what should we do? We should look at some highlights or just follow the, the opening moves? Oh, it sounds like I deafened some people when I lean forward. Apologies. Hang on, hang on. Well, Anish is calling me I mean, on Messenger will, audio. It will take quite a while. I think uh, mm -hmm. they seem to spend more time earlier in the game than later. Um, so he played like... he played. Okay, uh, now that was a spoiler alert. Yeah, if you just played C3 and they are showing like Lila is showing 0 50 and Stockfish 0 44, so this is quite. Right now they seem to agree, yeah? Quite a lot, yeah? Mm -hmm. And actually it looks kind of. Uh, I mean, from my understanding, which will be criticized, but it looks quite a bad French to me. But. Uh, yeah. The bishop on B7, which is. Oh. There he is. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah. Anish, are you there? Can. can you hear us? Can you see us? He, he cannot. I mean, we don't hear him, which is kind of. <laughs> 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 Maybe we can just keep it like that, no? <laughs> yes, some very nice background. Now, everyone just silent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, the tension is just, it's just unbearable because we know Peter, Peter's, there is this. Uh, Peter's Twitter brother is here. So. There is the fighting spirit elephant in the room. <laughs> and once Anish can talk, I'm not sure where this will go. But maybe there is just... <clears throat> it's just going to stay quiet. Yeah, yeah, Anish, yeah, yeah. unmute yourself. Hello, Anne. He is moving. That's, yeah. that's funny, actually. <laughs> the problem is he won't show up on screen until he says something. So people will never believe us he's here. Now he is. I hear you guys. Ah, great, great. Good I to didn't hear you. Realize, I didn't realize join audio means also that I get to hear you. <laughs> you know, I had to, I got this green screen. I also got the black screen. But turns out because my third floor is like a roof like that, I cannot set anything up. So just now you have my beautiful background. Welcome, Anish. Thank you so much for joining us. Did your wife work a lot on that background? It looks very elaborate. Yeah, no, this is what I was just saying. I mean, I've got the, <laughs> I've got the green screen, I've got the black screen, but the house is like that. So, uh, yeah, somehow it's all doesn't, you cannot get it. I mean, the problem you might have be familiar with, you cannot get this this up. So, so Anish, on a scale from, let's say, Jan and Laurent to Peter Heine, when it comes to being a computer chess nerd, where would you rate yourself? Uh, I'm definitely not as advanced as Peter Heine. Just one mm -hmm. thing before I continue. I mean, I only see Peter Heine in front of me. Uh, is that a good, good or a bad thing? It's like, I mean, uh, I want... You have the premium account, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I... Yes, it feels very intimidating. I have Peter PH just staring at me, right? <laughs> so, so we are... It's very weird. You should have a window with all of us. Yeah, I, I used to I used to have that. Oh, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Really? Uh, you are actually screen. managing to downtown, down talk your computer skills, yeah? No, I mean, I'm usually fine with my uh, hardwares, but... Uh, yeah, no, suddenly not. Anyway, Peter Heine, uh, good to see you. Well, yeah, I'm, you I'm, I'm <laughs> back to home safely. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, of chess engines, but not to the extent that uh, I'm going to tweet about it every morning. Let's say, like some people. <laughs> <laughs> but you do tweet every morning, anyway, about but about stuff. about some other other subjects. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's address the elephant in the room. There's been some tension between our dear friends Anish and Laurent Fressinet ever since Laurent, I would guess that's what started it, 
rated oh, Anish's no. fighting spirit unfavorably in our candidates preview. Anish, what and, do you think about that? No, I think that must have stemmed from like way, way, way back there. I agree. Laura has some childhood trauma, probably that that I induced <laughs> or something. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> no, I remember okay. Anish calling me uh, from uh, uh, all day long, Francois, and asking me some questions about why why are you playing d4 knight f6 to knight f3? Isn't isn't it a bit weird? And uh, yeah, no, it's so amazing. On. Actually, uh, Magnus did that in the World Championship match as well. Yeah? But he did it with a much more manly idea. Your idea is that you are afraid of the Benoni, which is a disaster <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Magnus's idea was that after G6, he can play Knight BD2, which is a very fighting system. So I thought, okay, that's it's a different, uh, you know, it's a different approach. Yet you get the same result. It's often the case with chess. This is your interpretation of uh, two Knight F3. Yeah, but but the, I don't these know. things are nice, right? I mean, you remember. We were playing the exchange French to try to force a draw, and then suddenly Kasparov plays it, and it, you can sort of pretend that it was a fighting system all along, right? I mean, yeah, no, it's not in general. It's changed a lot. I mean, you've got all these people who want to play the exchange uh, French and the rookie one Berlin and the exchange Slav, and before they were sort of shamed for it, and now it's like yeah, 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 th that's yeah. the bet. And now it's very hard to play against them because you know that they're gonna do it. And you know why? But at the same time, you cannot call them out anymore. So. No, no. And the on the other hand, I can play it on myself as well. So it works both ways for me. <laughs> but according to the computer games, uh, Benoni was not doing bad actually. Uh, no, but he, he did lose. No, the uh, no. one game he did lose the stockfish uh, with the king to d3. It was not a Benoni. It was Benoni. Oh, it was it was the Queen's Indian defense with the yeah. So no, it was Bo Bo's It was a couple of those in Benoni. Lila won a very beautiful game in the Benoni match. Uh, Ready? I think mm -hmm. so. He played some uh, pawn sacrifice. Uh, yeah, but I don't think he won that. One moment. Uh, he did play a very, very beautiful. I I I did check the games after uh, Anish. After my tweet, yeah? I had a nice remember. This so morning on Twitter, so end, but... I mean, I really had to check the games. <laughs> no, no, I did. Oh, but, uh, but I mean, well. look at, okay, I mean, not everybody is as fast as Jan, but I thought... Uh, that's so actually he won, he won, sorry, sorry. It was very, very beautiful. I mean, uh, ah, so you can see it very oh, quickly. with white. Yeah, this guy, this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, it, it takes the broad center and that it actually crumbles and loses a pawn, it doesn't matter because... Uh, well, it, it creates sort of queen on e1, rook on a3, bishop on b2 sort of uh, But what I would like to say, though, that it was not as pretty as you would expect. Like, if you go to move, let's say, go to move 30 or something. Yeah, knight takes d7, 32, let's say. I'm not used to this kind of assist. Uh, no, but I mean, it's you think now it's going to be very beautiful, but look what happens. At some point, he starts to cash out and everything. Like he starts to trade everything. Yeah, he takes on f6, which is very, I mean, a very ugly move. Isn't mm -hmm. it? And then later he takes on d7, which is also disturbingly ugly, I thought. And I mean, it's not like he does what Alpha Zero did. No, it's not a destruction no. or it's just some conversion, uh, very lame one too. I mean, it looks like game of Laurent to be honest. <laughs> In the in the French <laughs> league, <laughs> in the first round, well, the Indian down there. Still okay, that's like what that's what just for free. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's no, but the level yeah, of the people, insults we're getting a beautiful victory it. against Stockfish. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you see, what I meant is that you would expect that you know the bishop will stay on the long diagonal, White will sacrifice a few more pawns, and then the diagonals files everything will. There must be, it's probably possible to win in such a way. I mean, go rookie e3, I don't know, queen e1, and uh, so a5. a6 distraction. Uh, yeah, yeah I don't know. So no, it's possible to do it prettier, prettier than uh, than that. But uh, okay, the engines are also very efficient, yeah? At, uh, some I mean, you're playing Stockfish, uh, it's going to calculate like crazy. Of course, it's going to put up tremendous resistance. I mean, somehow to well lose these very clean, instructive games is more for humans, right? I think they were saying that, for instance, of Nims with my system, that the uh, the resistance level was ridiculous, which means you're going to have instructive games. I mean, of course, uh, Stockfish is going to, uh, you know, kick and bite as much as it can. Right? But Alpha Zero, the, the previous version of Stockfish that I played, or the old one, that the first Alpha Zero Stockfish games, those were like much more straightforward somehow. Where, yeah, where they? I mean, I... conceptually. But I, I, I understand. Uh, I, I agree. I agree with you fully. That 
Okay. There were still some very straightforward games. For example, in the French, that Alpha, that Lila beat uh, Stockfish, I thought it was also very, very straightforward. Where Stockfish played a four somewhere. It's the yeah this yeah, is this one. He played a four. Yeah, this game I think, which is a very, very gross positional mistake. Normally speaking, no. You read yourself of your own. I mean, c4 is okay. It's a decision sort of okay. Well, ah, a4 he played first and then c4. Yeah. But, <coughs> I mean, normally you go somehow c4, b5, b4, yeah? Although it's already late probably at this point, but still to lose like this and then go c4 and then like here also. I love this. Even eight. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just a disaster, no? At least. This is like probably the 1990s engines used to go for this structure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Still no, it, stops, it stops b3. I mean, you can hide your king and if you can just hold the fort. I mean, Stockfish yeah. thinks it's fine, actually. But Leela plays a very interesting regroupment plan here. Maybe it's very simple. But still, um, yeah, well, you cannot hold the fort, obviously. I mean, you like, how do you expect to hold the fort when, like, <laughs> you cannot? It's a very, yeah, uh, I, I understand. Um, at least if you had managed to push your pawn to b3, you would have some long term knight b5, bishop takes a3 counterplay. And now, when you have got your pawns on d5, I think it's... Well, even here, actually, it had huge problems. I haven't analyzed this, but I was a bit interested if this actually is winning for white because. It only suddenly uh, Stockfish flips in B4. But if you look at this, they just go back and forth for a long time. That's the thing I didn't like actually about this match. Uh, far too often it would shuffle around a bit too long, no? The These games are so the boring way. to watch sometimes, no? Of course, it's amazing level, but all this maneuvering and these 15 move repetitions all the time, it's a little disturbing. Especially because they're pointless. I mean, they don't achieve anything, most of those. I understand the computers don't care, but to human eyes, sometimes it can look very funny. Like, doesn't make any progress at all, no, with this whole uh, business. No, but the point is, I'm not sure this is not a fortress. Uh, it's... No, it's, I must be lost, no. How did he... Uh, I, I mean, the guy went, he panicked into before, yeah. But wh why, mm -hmm. why, why is it lost? I mean, how do you improve your position? I mean, you at some point can stick a knight to f7 or f8. I mean, as a, as a global, like rook f4. So you go like, f how? I rook mean, f4, like... queen f3. Okay, I mean, I'm going yeah, to rook f4, mess queen this up. F3, I think. Rook f4, queen f3, and then, I mean, I would think knight to f8 or f7, but... Maybe even first king to g4. Yeah, but king, king to g4, yeah. Knight, maybe knight of seven now already. Oh, look, look, your stockfish is happy. Yeah, you see? Just, uh... That's why... Yeah, but again, we are adding human moves. That's the problem. I mean... Um... For humans, That's we will just win because they will, they will plot yeah. that. <laughs> it's what you are telling me all the time, Peter. Yeah, yeah. Who was this <laughs> famous why... coach who said about Anish? He starts playing much weaker once he's out of book or something. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, I think it was that, that it was book ghost written by Laura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, not that time. It's uh, Tukmakov, no? Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> probably I, mean, I can't recall. On, Maybe know. it's from the Tukmakov. It's book. not probably. Okay. Don't lie. You know, you know, it's Tukmakov. <laughs> Siona is saying the... Anish is very brave just to join in this ambush in the waiting. No, you could be more wrong, Siona. Actually, Anish and Peter agreed to a somewhat disturbing amount on Twitter. It's a bit of a bromance there. And I'm always pro Anish, even though I'm also always pro Laurent. So Anish is a, <laughs> well, the majority here, be... and Laurent is the one being ambushed. So, no, no. You yeah, no, of course. I mean, this is a clear uh, trap. I mean, like... Uh, okay. Jan is a great politician, yeah? I mean, to say that you are pro-Laurent pro and pro-Anish at the same time, that's, you know... But I had Jan, the same debate with Peter Heine earlier. He said, you have to choose sides. I can't be pro-Peter <laughs> and pro-Laurent. So, <laughs> it's a very polarizing topic. But Jan, you are somewhat employed by Anish, or not... I mean, only as team captain of the Dutch, right? Um, I don't want to... The, Brag, well, but it's yeah. not a very significant part of my income, the okay. <laughs> Team NL, <laughs> every other year. I enjoy okay, it a lot, frank, but yeah, the conflict of interest you're trying to construct is minor in that case. Uh, okay. I like how you three guys are doing a conflict of interest on me here, I mean, of all, yeah, yeah, of all yeah. the people, I mean... I'm just a fan, so... Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, we have a lot of discussion about your... Um, a view on Magnus making draws with the uh, uh, with the engines. I mean, as an expert on this topic, I would be really skeptical. Um, but I understand your point that you mean he can force it from the opening. But if you suppose you, okay, the thing with Alpha Zero is that it by itself uh, or Lila by itself goes into the Berlin. Mm -hmm. But if you just 
make it go for anything but rookie one Berlin or something which is really straightforward draw? Don't you think that human will eventually give in? I, uh, then I agree with you for sure. Well, uh, I agree with you what you say. Yeah, yeah. It's just Although, that. Mm -hmm. What you think the the, the Kohan game position he will lose all the time as white? I mean, I don't as know. a white. Uh, you uh, mean why why Magnus would lose it? I mean, like uh, mean the... or, or, or even or Hadish. I mean, anyone. The French, very, you mean? Very the strong. French, yeah. Yeah, this one. I mean, why? Ah, but wait. Do you uh, actually do you separate Magnus from the rest of the top players in the statement or not? It's a big big question here. He meant to, but then he felt it could be rude, so he included you in the sentence. Yeah, but no, because that's in completely different. I mean, let's say, do you include, like, okay, you can not have... No, I am separating, separating Magnus, Magnus. okay. You are separating Magnus, yeah? Yeah, of course. So you mean, okay, that makes sense, because he is obviously stronger than the other players on average. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I don't know. To be honest, I was already very surprised that this guy, uh, uh, Smurdon, from Australia, he played uh, recently a match against Komodo with an extra piece. And he won. He won 5-1, yeah. I was completely shocked, actually. And Peter predicted 6-0 uh, for Komodo. Uh, yeah, really? I, was, I would think that Komodo would do very fine, but... Uh, yeah? yeah? You didn't say 6-0, Peter? I don't think so at all. I thought you tweeted it. Okay. A I'm piece here. is a lot of stuff, no? I once had some <laughs> amateur handicap show match where I played a piece down against people from 1600 till 2000 and it didn't go well for me at all. <laughs> yeah, but you're not Komodo. But Smurden is also not 1600. No, exactly. No, I mean, I, mean, I didn't want to, I, I didn't mean it as an insult to Smurden or my understanding of him. I think he's a very fine grandmaster, but I just thought any fine grandmaster should be struggling against the engine because i thought the, the problem will be of course not let's say he will build up everything nicely he'll be winning 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 but at some point the thing when you face an engine is that let's say there is an evil of like let's say plus three and whatever you do like it slowly drops yeah it can right. almost i mean uh, it's very um yeah hard to especially with so many pieces like probably slowly he will make some mistake here and there it will be plus two and a half then he'll blunder the pawn will be plus 1.7 then already it will be difficult to convert. This is a lot. I mean, also every exchange makes uh, such a big That's improvement. A problem, right? yeah. And at some point they just attack something twice that you can only defend once on a very basic level with the extra piece. So it's, yeah, I was also surprised by the score, but it makes some sense because the piece is so much. Yeah, in hindsight, Again, I can say so. I really didn't expect well, that. But... I will admit it. I was actually analyzing it a bit. And I think, well, you know, with the extra piece, if you play symmetrical, it's very hard to do something for, the, you know, the, the piece down part. I mean, anything you do, I mean, they just try to exchange it. You cannot play any kind of aggression and uh, it's very hard to get the game going. I mean, uh, maybe it's better to be a rook down. There are some famous matches. Yeah, rook down, you can, yeah, play some head touch and I mean, well, three-minute chess or something like that, I can believe it, but 15 minutes is plus 10 is a lot, right? Uh. Yeah, actually, I played one time um, a shogi game with a gigantic... Okay, I cannot play shogi, but I barely learned the rules for that one day. Uh, and I played with some enormous handicap, like he gave me like this rook type of thing and like a knight type of thing as well. Uh, and maybe one more piece, like he gave me half the, his pieces. And I thought it's going to be easy because I'm going to trade everything, but of course, when you trade, the pieces can go back in. Yeah. So no, while, I mean, yesterday was... there was also a, a match with sort of the winner of the World Shogi League and against Yoshiharu Habu, who gave a, uh, I think he gave Bishop handicap, but he, he won extremely easy. In, uh, when you can't exchange, like in Shogi, uh, in Shogi, as you say, exchanges make the position more complicated and it's a completely different ball game. I mean, you uh, have to just attack, yeah? I mean, basically you have to attack and then eventually the fact that well, you, you have, have to shoot, uh, use the extra piece you have, but it's a completely, I mean, well, I think uh, that would be like playing with a pawn handicap in chess, something like that, uh, to, have, to give a piece there. Uh, no, this is, uh, look at that, Jan. I mean, and this is so nice to ask Peter. He's amazing. He's winning up this. <laughs> he doesn't even know, yeah? Just, just which is Peter a favorite thought. of Peter. Come on. I mean, That's what Peter thought. He, he couldn't to... like Anish any better. Anish brings up Shogi no, by anyway, himself. So, yeah, like no, no, but guys, really... one, one time in Japan... <laughs> Maybe you want to play a game online. No, no, no. <laughs> Shogi, I mean, one time also I had a day I played Go. So we cannot talk oh, about that. Yeah. Go is <laughs> impressing Peter less, but Shogi, he's, he's oh, so good. Yeah. Come on. 
okay. <laughs> yeah. He's coming to the training camp and he's looking for a partner uh, for a sugary game all, all the time. I mean, like, of course. Once we spend like three hours sweating Peter Heine's shogi match online, no? and you swindle someone because of a mouse click, I think. A mouse slip, wasn't it? Likely. So. I think you were being crushed and then the guy had a mouse slip and you won. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> sounds very likely. I mean, but uh, oh, in Shogi also the comeback rate is much bigger. I mean, you can be a rook down, but you have to win by attack anyway. So who knows what's going to happen? So, um, King safety you is very important. A bit about chess or not really? Uh, okay, I mean, the go. actual game. French looks better for white, no? So it was nine. So again, if you go to the CCEC side, you can say that uh, Lila thinks it's considerably better. Duckfist thinks he's doing extremely fine. Here we are. <clears throat> so what do you think, Peter? Usually, uh, how do you operate? Just you see close position, you call it uh, Lila position, or what's the... I have no work? clue. I mean, as I see it, I mean, I'm old school. I think Black has the pair of bishop and uh, a square on c4 for the knight. So he's uh, busy outplaying uh, white. And, uh, it looks very strange to me that white should be better here. But, uh, uh, I must say also 0 0.59 is not enormous, yeah? In, uh, no. Not but, enormous. Could be. Well, I mean, I would play, let's say, I could, if I get to play knight a5 and g6, I would think the position is locked and I have all my position in front. But uh, uh, most likely that's not the case. Yeah, but yeah, probably, the, I mean, uh, if you go g6 anyway in the long run, I, I either your f6 square is weak and also... Yeah. Um, I mean, g4 or 5 is maybe less for plan, but maybe just knight to g4 and bishop to h4 are... Yeah, are, are I, I mean, you you sound right. I'm just saying how my sort of uh, old-school instincts are. They they are probably not so so exact. Yeah. Well, also, probably you cannot play f5 now, right? But even that maybe would be relevant. Yeah, of course, it's one thing. Also, I would want, I mean, there are various plans. Also, you could think of trading the knights and putting a bishop on d4, a knight on e3, mm -hmm. and then just yeah. pushing a5. And uh... yeah, exactly. This looks quite quite good to me for white, but I don't. But you are not in time after knight c6, bishop c6. You have to move the queen. Yeah, but rook b1 is exactly what is next. Bishop e7. Yeah, bishop e7 maybe. It's what he wants. Yeah. Yeah, you have this bishop b5 trick, yeah, which is kind of. Normally, this uh, Lila's uh, or Alpha Zero had good record against Stockfish in the French, right? Because Stockfish would be too careless. Hmm. Yeah. Also, Stockfish he disturbingly overrates the French all the time. No, he's always so happy. Yeah. Um, there are many but, people uh, who overrate the French for no reason. No, no, I was talking about the opening. You actually? Uh, I was talking about Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Laurent is very sensitive about any jokes implying his Frenchness. It's very but, hard I mean, to get uh, to. I, I mean, all of you guys did sum up uh, and uh, and think it's uh, incredibly hilarious. These uh, croissant jokes or pain blanc jokes. Which are not, I mean, <laughs> this is a bad jo the best jokes from you. I mean, you're, you're funny guys, but uh, no, that one is not... Uh, yeah, but you see, you feel that he gets very defensive about this, uh, about his breakfast. No, he gets genuinely <laughs> upset. It's the only topic I can genuinely upset him with. If I overdo the Pam Blanc jokes <laughs> or if I keep retelling that story, how he asked the waitress for, excuse me, do you have white bread? And she understood, do you have white breast? Like, he gets very <laughs> upset when I keep doing that. Goodness. Yeah, see? but I mean, to ask for white bread is equally, <laughs> equally insulting, no? Okay, no, no, I've turned on Laurent. I promise I wouldn't do that. I'll, I'll be nice because I, I like Laurent and I miss no, him but it, 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 makes, it makes your day to, to talk about Pamelon. It makes me for, very happy. So let's go for some fussing stuff. F5, no? I mean, wow, you're first Laurent line. taking this fucking looks chess, like you, you, want to, you want to buzz the guy. Yeah, but it could be very bad as well, no? Such yeah, I understand, a, but... Uh, such a massive decision. I mean, it's the kind of decision some people just never take. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> so now take c5, could it too? I mean, this line looks kind of... If you have to go bishop c8 already, I mean... Ah, okay. Bishop it's already some kind of success, yeah? Because if, if you cast away, I just go bishop f4 and you are busted, yeah? Or also, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, bishop f4 and if... Uh, bishop, ah, even rook b7 is there, yeah. 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 But doesn't yeah, Lisa think he's winning already because of the structure, so why change it with f5? 
Yeah, mean, it's not a Lila move, huh? That's yeah, it's kind of it. It just played it, but okay. Wow. Jesus. Okay, then it's probably Fighting Spirit, good. five points for Lila. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Fighting Spirit, did you see that game where Lila uh, had like a position and then it, it moved for 49 moves, gave one point? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Was I, one, and then we wanted to discuss that, yeah? Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's a case of Fighting Spirit backfiring. We'll look at it in a minute, but this is exciting. So, Stockfish has to take on e5. No, only move. It yeah. Seems. Queen e2. It looks so, I mean, like, in the practical game, it's just over. Yeah? Yep. This starts okay, reminding no. us of uh, Alpha Zero versus uh, Stockfish, right? That, uh, I mean, Stockfish just thinks it's 0 0.00, while Alpha Zero was better at grasping very long term in initiative. Right. But I have castle now after f6, so what's the yeah, big deal? You have two. Yeah, and and now, I mean, if you don't win on the spot, I'm yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, very good point. Uh, maybe it's, the point is not fe, maybe something like, I don't know, some kind of f6 somewhere, or it's not really, yeah, probably not just Why, why knight f5 is not working? Uh, I don't know, it must be something, but... He doesn't want to play, I, I think according to the style, I'm, I'm here, if, no, f6 he doesn't want to play. Ah, bishop c5. I've he been wants to play knight e3, according to the line it's showing. Ah, and that castles castle? f6. Yeah, that's f6. the kind of long yeah, term. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, this looks dangerous, yeah. This, well, this looks completely like, a, I mean, alpha zero against Stockfist match, right? Some and if I take, how do you, knight g4 or? What? Oh, bishop, bishop h6 first? Uh, knight g4, yeah. Knight g4, wow. Takes, takes, I don't see, ah, just queen h4, yeah. Huh? Wow, that's amazing. What we call overloading the defense. Okay, this is a little too easy. I think Stockfish will yeah, defend a bit better. Line here, John, but yeah. <laughs> okay. but uh, instead of Just GF, yeah, yeah. instead of GF, he, he doesn't have any. I mean, of course, if he plays, did he sorry, take? Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. This didn't I mean, of, this of course, if you play like ninety three castle f six, if you play g six, you're probably just lost in general. What's wrong? I don't yeah. know why it keeps doing this, but yeah, I will stop it. Hopefully. Yep. We'll see. So, so knight, knight e3, e3, and now we castle. need a good move. Castle, castle f6, yeah. g6 was saying. No, no, g6 is the disaster, I guess, in, in general, yeah? You probably, eventually, some piece comes to, to h6. Come on, Laurent, now you have to come with a fighting spirit. So. <laughs> could, you could also be winning here. Oh. I mean, it's back? Is... It's back? But somehow, French Championship, no. Racine, Garamian, you feel this is over, no? 1-0 after F6, I don't see any hope. Well, Garamian, Racine, for sure, but... Uh... <laughs> Either way, well, just very hard to defend. After F6, G6, why, <laughs> what is this? why is it that you're still winning? You're just going to put the queen to H4, or...? I just assumed that since he did it, he knew. Yeah, so did I. But, uh, no. Okay, yeah, let's say queen f queen f two. I'd go queen e one to cover. Queen one, yeah, yeah. Let's do the first <laughs> move. Queen one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good work, Jan. <laughs> so. Why is it the first name move? I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, let's come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, and. Uh... Yeah, let's grab some pawns. Yeah. I mean, you'll never go for that, Tanish, as white. Um, Don't lie. I mean. A five, yeah, a five I wouldn't have played, that's for sure. Uh, <coughs> I mean, here, I mean, here it's... Rook, what's the point? Points, yeah? Is there something? We have to wait till my very slow stockfish <laughs> jumps up here. Okay, let's do rook bd1, let's say. Mm -hmm. The bishop of eight, we're defending. Wow. Uh, yeah, let's go some king h... And there's some bishop h6, maybe. Ah, yeah, he then... doesn't care. Bishop d7. And then he's, he's got always queen c5 back to f8, yeah? I guess. That's his defense. Oh, he can also move the bishop, actually. Yeah, he's hanging in there. Although, 0-0 zero, yeah. zero now. Yeah, but you know, in such positions, the engines, they sometimes see something very brutal. Yeah. Which are, which is, but for, from human terms, it's also not so clear. But also, after f6, you can also <coughs> consider other moves. Huh? Some knight... Like no, but this is gonna happen in the game. I mean, this is G6 is the Stockfish main main line now. Uh, oh really? Well, that's what it says on the side. Uh -huh. Let's go back to TCEC. 
It's by the way also Lila's first line to go F G six. It doesn't say it crushes. Yeah. It says just zero point six. Which is weird. Okay, can handle him from Pepetona. Who's stuff place? Stove place. Uh, yeah, I think it's some kind of probably it's some kind of clone of uh, stockfish, no? I it's googled the name. The stockfish it seems to family. Be some yeah? kind of Belgian dish with potatoes and meat. Oh yeah, yeah, no <laughs> Dutch food. We're experts Dutch, on, yeah. but what engine it is? Stove It's meat on a stick, I would guess. No, maybe not. Maybe that's stockfish. Well, it looked like some kind of stew to me. But... So it's a very interesting example. What do you think, Peter? Who will prevail here? Because, I mean, Lira is showing like 0.60. I guess it's... I... You think Lila would win? I think yeah? there's quite a likelihood that Lila will win a crushing game because uh, yeah. his initiative is actually bigger than... and then somehow Stockfish will grasp it kind of late. But of course, well, Stockfish could also defend brilliantly outcalculated in the end. I think uh, it becomes a very sort of... Um, non-committal statement that I think every free results are in play. But, uh, yeah, Probably it also depends whether like after f6 there is this move knight g6 for example because if you've got a move like that and then you do something very forced uh, you get somewhere e5 and you uh, activate a lot of your pieces with black and you sort of trade down into some worse end game that would be okay. But if you go f6, g6 then maybe there will be some sort of a half so instance, I'm main. reading the line. I mean somehow um, Lila is giving, uh, well, he plays g6, but then he plays king h8, and he plays g5 next to get some, you know, yeah. space on the, the king side. And, uh, well, it could be uh, quite a spectacular game, is my feeling. Stockfish, so says, know, but, uh, Stockfish says 93, rook b8 also uh, is, a, is an option. Yeah, just queen e1 is the line. Uh, ah, rook b8, sorry. Sorry, after castles f6, g6 in? Yeah, queen e1, king h8, queen h4, g5. Which is, uh, uh, I mean, like, not a very uh, normal way to... Usual well, I mean, way, let's no, say, to defend. This is why I'm a fan of this uh, kind of event. Yeah, no, that's it's, true. I mean, it's actually interesting chess, at least to me. I mean, some of them, but not all of them. I understand it's not like you playing Bundesliga, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. already moved 23, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nice thing about this. 25 moves to offer a draw, right? 20, 20, 20, 20. Please. 20. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Come on. I know, I know the whole. Okay. I think the nice thing about watching these games and also the correspondent games that I like about it is that you don't have to check with engine, like if they blundered somewhere, <laughs> because yeah, they, yeah. they didn't. So you can just enjoy the game, actually, uh, on a more. I'm getting some way. stove place information here. Count oh. Chess is saying Stove Place 2 is a non zero hybrid chess engine by Giancarlo Pasciutto. The eval consists of a set of feature recognizers coupled to a neural network trained with an oracle learning from games. The results were incorporated into Deep Sheng engine forming Stove Place 2. All right. Yeah, Any okay. questions? <laughs> Sounds right. But let's. Is that going to be She's really grabbing uh, more and more camera time. I think it's Nelly, I can say Anish? We're not really experts if someone knows that. Hmm. Some computer chess experts joining here. <laughs> For sure. Big technician. She knows how to are start. You, by the Peppa way, are Pig. you guys uh, uh, into all these clones? Like all this, uh, I don't know, Elishtain, Sugar, all this. Well, I saw they played in the final, right? But uh, uh, you're not really digging deep into that. Peter is always very cryptic. If you ask him, "Have yeah. you heard of Lila Zero?" He will say, "I don't know. I, <laughs> I heard something, but I'm not into details." Yeah, no, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, as far as I understand, that Ali Stein is a mix of, uh, let's say. Neural network understanding, but also more calculation some way. But uh... I mean, if, if you came here uh, fishing for infos, uh, Anish, I mean, <laughs> yes. better Good to luck. get rid of Peter immediately. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> no, but I, I watched. Uh, I watched your. Uh, 
uh, Chess 24 series on uh, this Magnus against Fabiano, the first, at least the first few. And it was remarkable how, like, every tiniest bit of information that you were about to reveal, Peter would just shut it off. Yeah? Like, <laughs> like, he would say, like, yeah, Magnus probably wanted to, you know, this, and then Peter would be like, yeah, or he could just have wanted to play a game, you know. And <laughs> oh, but did you actually, there was a very brilliant bit in the end. At oh, some no. point, Jan was trying to be loyal to me, so he actually hit the information. But then uh, Laurent sort of said, ah, but actually, maybe White can play like this, this, and this, and uh, <laughs> he will still be better. But the point was, this was uh, probably what we had prepared, but Jan was trying to hide, and then Laurent had forgotten. So he just used the line to, you know, not to yeah, play Yeah, I just game. forgot, yeah, I just <laughs> forgot some line, yeah, some other yeah, line. I, I, thought, like, online, so. I thought if you want to make a series about this match, probably taking you three is like the least informative thing to do because at least someone who is not part Thank of it you. would reveal by accident something whereas yeah. uh, those who are part of it they're not going to reveal single interesting thing yeah so it's, it's going to be what like you did. <laughs> that's maybe, great marketing maybe, guys check out the series yeah, yeah. inside the world championship match all the secrets <laughs> revealed you should put that on the box so anish it, it's what you think you did at the start of the show yeah with this night bd2 yeah you want it to look like night bd2 where yeah, is this D4, knight f6, knight f3, g6, yeah, knight yeah. bd2, you wanted to... It was a job apply, yeah? I mean, like... Uh, uh, yes, yes. No, I'm just... Uh, you want to... You are making a, a guess. No, this right? is a great line. I played it in Bundesliga. No, but Magnus played it the later Anish in the... played it during the European Team Championship. Magnus yeah. played it in the World Rapid. It's a very common line. Even Laura played it, no, once with White. It's too... Uh, Doesn't sound like his style to me. Yeah, it's highly, highly relevant game there that Peter Heine is trying to once again dismiss. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean... B3 also good move. <laughs> what about Bishop G5? Come on. Okay, guys, no, one, one chess, chess content. Chess content. After G6, B3, just a trap for the viewers. Please. Ah, okay. <laughs> Look, something Peter, also. we are learning something. Guys. Uh, maybe Giri is revealing Kramnik prep now, right? Yes, yeah. I, 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 am, I am trying to. So let's say c5. <coughs> that was a Kramnik Gitschuk game, yeah? In the first round of Kramnik. Yes. Yeah. DC. DC. Let's say bishop g7, bishop b2. And uh, it's basically important castle. It's important, uh, yeah, it's more natural to go to go b3, bishop g7, bishop b2 castle. It's actually a game of mine against Hikaru, and e3 here, let's say. And if you now go c5, d6, queen a5 check, suddenly there is c3, queen takes c5, bishop a3. Oh. I mean, Kramnik, Kramnik never confessed it to me, but I think this was the only reason why he played this line, because he was <laughs> hoping to get this. It's actually a good trap. Oh, but now brilliant. when we have to uh, Kramnik second, I mean, can we ask how the information level is in the modern team Kramnik, because Lesine has been complaining all the time that he was uh, kept in the dark. Or is that, is that confidential information? Uh, yeah, but with Laurent, I understand why he would do that. Whereas with me, <laughs> <laughs> you see the point. I'm a huge fan, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Tell us why. <laughs> Please. No, I mean, okay. Um, I think the um, it's not... Sometimes you hide information on purpose because later you, yeah, you don't want to reveal some things that your seconds might play. But sometimes also uh, you want to play something and then one hour before the game, you don't like something and you want to change your mind, and you're not going to inform all your seconds um, mm -hmm. about everything because it doesn't add anything. So you, I think... No, no, we're not, we're, we're not talking about that. We're talking about hiding information on purpose. I mean, it's very... No, but it, could, but it could be looking like it's on purpose, but let's say, uh, I guess, Peter Hein experience with Magnus as well, that sometimes they have a plan and then Magnus goes to the game and suddenly a different thing appears on the board. Never happened. <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> And I mean, it can be that Magnus just wants to be evil to Peter Heine, which is very likely the case, but it could also be that he, yeah, it's just something bothered him and he didn't have the time just to tell him or did, didn't see the mm -hmm. need to tell him. So that could also be the... So I like the mutual know. fishing for information, but Anish, Peter, he doesn't tell us anything about anything ever, so you're just not getting a reply. Like Laurent might stumble, but he's also being kept on the dark on most important things. So it's a fairly hopeless. No, but that's, that's the thing with Team Magnus that uh, everybody wants to reveal something, but only Peter actually. <laughs> only Peter can knows reveal. anything, and only he's not like. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, but I actually remember it with Vichy. He won a famous game against Topalov in Sofia playing the Marshall Gambit. But I was very pissed during the game because I thought, 
I mean, doesn't he trust me? I mean, we prepared this line all morning, and now he prepared something else. But uh, well, obviously, he just forgot after the race. Mm. See how Peter changes the topic to yeah, no, he's very good at that. I mean, bravo, <laughs> congratulations. Should really be a politician, like <laughs> politician it's in the Peter family. Heine, five stars. It's in the family, yeah. <laughs> I am Meanwhile, completely the... unelectable. That's the problem. Hi. <laughs> Sione is asking, has Anish cunningly fil infiltrated Team Magnus or has Team Magnus cleverly lured Anish Giri in? That's the dynamic at play here. We don't know which side is stronger yet. I'm certainly a double agent, but like <clears throat> other than that, it's very unclear the <laughs> power balance here to me. <clears throat> if you actually look at the chest position, Leela thinks it's uh, kicking ass and Stock is, uh, is not the slightest worry. Yeah, then I tend to here I would tend to believe that because there is so much uh, so little concrete things going on here in in some sense no I mean mm -hmm. the but again are... we were debating the the chance of a human being I mean how much do you think you would score with white here against the stockfish oh but I, I don't get the point of what is happening so I mean I wouldn't score no, no but that, that's the I mean well we spoke about this I mean if you just flip computer into a random position against a human being we would have basically no chance, right? We yeah, have... here you have no chance. I mean, you will yeah. try to mate, you will not manage, and you are pawned down. But Does it make a difference? Will... Maybe Stockfish thinks there's some move repetition. Is it a content zero, you have a chance, and if he has content, you have no chance? How does this work? Yeah, as well, of course. The, yeah, the settings I mean... not helping. <clears throat> but here, of course, in this position, if you maybe if human analyzes a little bit first, then he can... He can For example, this turn. line I could stumble stumble into by sort of accident. <laughs> if he thinks this is best play, he might make a draw, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you mean if he would play any other move, you would eventually lose, yeah? Yeah, yeah for sure. That's this position I mean. is really, really nice for white, seemingly. It's hard to imagine how you lose it, but probably gradually you do, somehow. <clears throat> yeah. Also, white can probably improve there, no? I mean, white is better there, I guess. Looks Simply. pleasant for white, no? I mean, you can also deviate, right? After queen, queen, I don't know, f4 or something, queen c5, you can put uh, a queen d6. Yeah, you can deviate maybe in a prettier way than this. I mean, at least maybe let's go after from after queen f8. Let's go to e3, queen c5, rook e1, maybe, maybe b. Can I or f? Ah, the stop bishop b7. Yeah, yeah, maybe f. What if b? By the way, is bishop b7 happening or? Yep. You should be seen as a big Crazy. deal. You're, I mean, quickly you become worse, right? I mean. Yeah, because okay, but that's because I allow bishop b7, bishop d5. That's pretty obvious. I sh that uh, if I don't have anything concrete, I shouldn't do it. Take the draw. Yeah, but let's say rook f1. How is he, how is he going to defend this? Hmm. <clears throat> ah, here I imagine worse. bishop d7. Yeah, Lila, I imagine would be really. Enjoying yeah, yourself. Nice. I mean, yeah, between a four and five foot. Yeah, very nice. Wow. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although, as a human, it's also not going to be. I mean, bishop d7 doesn't look nice. Maybe rook d5 instead looked more to the point with if, idea e5. Hmm. Yeah, and he says I'm rook e1. Rook e1, deep. Yeah, move you would probably not, not manage to find. Wait for a better ending. Then how does it work? Actually, e5? Ah, e5, you're not saying anything. You are, no? You want to win the piece? Or in France, it's not a, not a thing. <clears throat> so. Why, why? It's France, I mean, it's kind of... Uh... <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> why? why in France? <laughs> Why do you see myself as a... As a... We are all bothers, no? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Why should be French and he should be Dane and Jan should be German? But then and... what's the difference between us? We are all, all so similar and... No, I mean... I no. We are all nerds, but in general, I think, Laurent, it's because of your Frenchness is more <laughs> pronounced than your okay, nerdness. Okay, E5. Okay, so 90... So, <laughs> Queen F6, let's <laughs> the topic, please. Peter, help me. <laughs> Changing the topic. <laughs> We're just playing Blitz now. Knight C2, Knight C6 is good. But why? Yeah, he wants to win a pawn uh, and then Knight C6. Yeah, he wins the pawn back. 
and keeps uh, some. And this Although it's, game... yeah, I'm not sure if I, I mean, of course, if you don't manage to get out, you are lost. But if you manage to somehow, I don't know, attack the yeah, I don't even see how you attack the f6 pawn. <coughs> Yeah, just takes takes only five rook b6 and king comes king comes yeah looks looks very very sad yeah, e5 was uh, not not good mm -hmm. mr dodgy is saying anish avoiding the draw not very on brand that's the same mr dodgy that agreed on twitter that anish draw jokes have to step it up no it's kind of funny come on <laughs> no. says the frenchman <laughs> one, one star <laughs> out of five i will say Four. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Mr. Dodgy, I have to admit. Yeah, me too. I love Mr. One, Dodgy. One or zero, yeah. So, Anish, you've also not only infiltrated Team Carlsen, but also Chess24. You're playing matches every day now, right? You're playing a match today? Not you every day, needed? but... Uh, yeah, uh, no, today I play against Jordan, I believe. Ah, against Jordan. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Now, I'm trying to get used to the... Uh, you know, the in interface and the time control of your wonderful website, so. <laughs> you will have the time of your life because you're, of course, preparing for the Magnus Carlsen Invitational. Exactly. Do you like Did your you chances? In the Invitational? Yeah. Against uh, Jordan, I guess you like your chances. No, um, don't underestimate Jordan. He's... Uh, don't. He's actually, I don't think he's strong in Blitz, but he's just uh, incredibly lucky in the like in the <laughs> long run. Like he's always lucky, basically. Which is at some point you wonder if it's uh, if it's a coincidence, maybe. But calling Jordan lucky is like um, questioning Laurent's Frenchness. No, you have to call him resilient. He's sensitive about that. <laughs> actually, yeah. just to step in with you a have broad to see our your... games. Oh. No, with the Magnus Carlsen Invitational, if you think Magnus is a big favorite to make a huge score. Then generally, twenty-eight draws should qualify for the semi-finals, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but the problem—I mean, the thing with these events, like these rapid blitz events, as long as Fabiano is taking part, I'm always hopeful, because they usually need—they uh, need one target. I mean, once I become a target, it's a bit nasty. But uh, sometimes Fabi is the target, and then I'm doing fine. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, tactic, you, if you see the Grand Chess Tour tournaments, there are two types of tournaments. There's the type of Grand Chess Tour Rapid Blitz where Fabi is last and I'm like totally fine. I'm fourth or something. Or And there is the type where Fabi is fine and then I'm last. The thing is that they, they just need a, they need someone to bully and they just choose first. They see how it, how it starts and if Fabi starts badly, he, he's the one and otherwise it's me. And, uh, rarely but you think there's going to be a lot of strategy in just trying to qualify or people will just play completely normal? I mean... Uh, well, you have to. You play a match, no? You want to win every match, I guess. Ah, of least, course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I, I forgot that uh, it's not about points, it's about match. Of course, it is about points. But they play. Yeah, but, but, but from the matches, yeah. I mean, if, I mean, if you win two and a half or four zero, it doesn't make a difference. So, I mean, I mean, there might be some strategy involved. Let's say if you play a final game with white, and yeah, you are thinking true. to force a draw. Oh, or, no, of course. Yeah. There is always a penalty competition in the end, like I mean, uh, something like that with an Armageddon game, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, complete, so. complete nonsense, what I said. Uh, my apologies. Anyway, it's a, it's just a come... funny format, yeah. You were surprised by your invitation, Anish? Oh. Not at all. Not, Not at, at all. all. Okay. No. Okay. Peter froze. There are many reasons to invite me to this tournament. Can you? <laughs> Do I, 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 I won't ask you to name them, but. Uh... No, but first of all, my games are always very interesting uh, to follow. Because um, usually I bring a lot of uh, opening content into the game. And uh, then if I don't convert it, it's always quite nice how I screw this up. So there is some kind of, I blunder some trick or it, it's always nice to watch. Also, and this happens on, uh, I mean, quite on a no regular basis, no? That you are, yeah, yeah, that you are coming much better. I mean, like in. <laughs> In terms of openings, you are just kicking ass. All yeah, the it's time. much. I mean, I'm not necessarily kicking ass all the time, but I'm trying to bring some content to it. So let's yeah. say I might not get an advantage, but I have tried something. For example, you saw the matches yesterday and some of the games. I mean, uh, let's say there is very little content in uh, playing a random uh, Italian without a point or um, this random QG D position is also without a point. And then uh, professionals like Magnus, they I think they enjoy following my games. To, to some extent, 
Uh, and also, I think it's a very strong tournament. So Magnus also wants that there are some easier rounds, probably. <laughs> that he can, or you know, let's say he's struggling, then he needs some to catch some pace. So then it's also nice time there. So I think there are. Well, it's actually a fair point. I mean, you bring a lot of content. I will even say, well, as you say, openings, and then maybe suboptimal play later. But it's a great match. And also this that you well, I mean, well, we, people like you, people dislike you, but there's a lot of internet presence. I mean, uh, well, it, it brings character to the tournament. I, as you yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 re I'm really not sure there are that many people who genuinely dislike me. I seem like they really dis so like dislike people around, for example. Those who really sort of just honestly dislike dislike me. I don't think there are so many <laughs> such people. But <laughs> oh. so you think I, I, I dislike you? No, no, like, I mean, they, they just like you, generally, that's what I'm ah, just trying okay. to say. <laughs> <laughs> like you or Peter. Yeah. Uh, yes, exactly, yeah, but uh, <laughs> there are many people who think it's fun to pretend that they just like me. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, so Leko was very disliked at some point, but it's, it's hard to genuinely dislike Leko, is my impression. It's, it's impossible, uh, you know, Running yeah, story. Yeah, exactly my, my point, yeah. Okay. yeah. But still, one needs some villains, no? And Hikaru is so mellow these days that even if it's fake dislike, it's like Game of Thrones got a lot worse after King Joffrey disappeared. So I don't know if who is going to play the heel in this tournament. Magnus himself? It's very unclear who the villain characters are these days nowadays. Yeah, no, the problem with... Uh, I mean, it's hard to be a villain at the same time like people, the villain is supposed to do badly, right? Usually or not? Not, not necessarily. Oh. Like it's fun to, if he does well and you can root again against him, <coughs> and then hopefully he loses the finals. That's how I watch like basketball. Ah, I see, I see. No, I mean it's a regardless, it's a great lineup, and also it's really cool that uh, that uh, Alireza gets to to play. It's not just by rating, and because otherwise he's obviously a bit behind still, but uh, he's a very good uh, online player, and so I think it's good he has a, has a chance to show himself as well. So. I think it's, it's, it's obvious to have him, right? I mean... Uh... Yeah, to be honest, when I heard that it's Magnus uh, Invitational, I guessed all the players apart from Hikaru. I think Hikaru probably was uh, not Magnus, probably someone from the Magnus Corporation decided to invite uh, Hikaru, because I, I don't think Magnus would have himself chosen Hikaru over, let's say, Grishuk. Yeah, my personal opinion is I think the field is great. I would have loved to see Grishuk in it as well. I'm not sure who you kick out for it, but yeah, yeah. that's the only thing. I, I agree with pity. you. Other than yeah. that, I think it's fantastic. But it's great. Yeah, but it's difficult to kick out uh, someone actually. So, I mean, like eight players is, is great. And I mean, Grishuk would be next, but yeah, it's for yeah. sure. If we yeah. debate who is the favorite, of course, it's obvious to say Magnus, but uh, 50%? Or more or less? Well, it's his tournament, so the format should suit his sensibilities too. No, like it's matches against like one guy, rapid. Win. I would <coughs> guess his yeah, chances though, are big, but he could I lose mean, to MVL in some semifinals. No, like, if Magnus is in good shape, he might win all the all the rounds. But at the same time, he had rarely, but he has those tournaments where he is playing not so well, and uh, uh, yeah, like for example, this Singfield Rapid. He played not so well, but of course, if he's in good shape, I mean, the format is just the format is such that uh, it exaggerates the strength. Yeah, you shorten the time. Well, but that you would have think about the final in uh, in the London. chess uh, London Chess Classic Grand Chess Tour, right? Yeah, but he just had a bad day there. Normally speaking, yeah. it should be his format, but he just had a bad day. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, the, the point is that uh, even if he's not in top form, I mean, he will qualify for. Sh I mean, like in top four, it's ninety percent, I would say. Uh, That's and then it's uh, one day thing, yeah. This semi-finals and finals. Yeah, yeah, it's true. A That's very random. So. <laughs> but there he could have a bad day. That's what I'm saying. No, he could yeah. lose to yeah. some Maxim or Hikaru or anybody. Really. Also, I mean, to he lose to, to he lost to Ding and uh, Ding, yeah. Ding field, yeah. right? And to Maxim as well. So I mean, to to lose to Maxim or to Ding, you don't have to have a very bad day. It's not... <laughs> You can have a slightly off day, and then it's more like you have, need to have a bad move, right? I mean, mm. <clears throat> all right. Let's see. If Awkward silence. Anything. Let's let's have a look at the game. <laughs> What's going on? Quite yeah. remarkably, the stockfish's evaluation is higher at the moment than of Lila. Yeah, it starts to see the problems. It's interesting, and uh, Lila oh, has ugly. become less optimistic, right? 
Yeah, but the, the line that uh, I see here, knight takes e3, bishop d6, queen d6, queen e3. And he doesn't go e5 for some reason, but goes bishop d7, <coughs> and then knight f3, knight e5. It looks so very, very ugly for black. Ah, because e5, knight c6, yep, yeah, was probably a thing. Ah, oh, knight c6. Oh, oh no, but yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, but if you have to go bishop d7, then the knight reroutes to e5. That looks uh, scary as an understatement, right? I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it looks also, once so... again, it feels very alpha zero stockfish, you know, some position mm -hmm. where stockfish thinks it's zero zero because he doesn't see a mate and then he gets boxed in. Hey, you did a video series on that, right? I can't recall the details, but yeah, I did. <clears throat> Oof, looks tough. Oh, I think your point was that had stockfish. Just whenever he was 0 0.00, 0 0 forced to draw, he would have been done, doing much better. That was a problem he had, I felt, in that match, that, that sometimes there were forced draws in 0, 0 or random moves that he thought were 0, 0. And the random moves which he would keep playing often turned out not to be 0, 0. So the I'm not sure how you can control it. Let's say, uh, let's say if you, we go back to the move f6, for example. Mm -hmm. And um, you... I mean, I'm not sure that is the case, but suppose this move, uh, knight g6, is holding eventually, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, even if it's, let's say, 0 0.30 or something like this by Stockfish. Um, I mean, a move sort of, like, it would anyway prefer the ugly G6 because that would be zeros for, in his in his world. So yeah. he has a very, he doesn't have a taste to some extent. He can, he can see a way to hold it as well, for example. He might say knight G6 is also holding, but he just doesn't, feel it's better than the other one, which it obviously practically is to some extent. But I think that's part of the cool thing with these, that, well, they both assume that they are well, the best in the world. They just try to play chess. They don't have any kind of practical implication. They just play the most principled and interesting move. That creates good games. Well, like, but you, like with the move G6, you're not really playing for a winner either. It's just that it's like you have two moves, and if, if let's, I don't know if that's the case, but if they are both fine, then just pick the... I mean, if let's say you are making a, if you are making a repertoire for black here and you have this position, uh, I mean, you Stockfish are... says actually knight g6, it wants to place bishop g5, by the way. So you're not getting your exchange. If queen takes c3, maybe now? Like he says? What is this line? So takes, takes, takes. FG, and... At least this is not ugly, is it? I mean, it's, it is. No, it's not if anything, it's. Uh... Looks nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks okay, bishop f6 cool. is coming, so not that nice. But e5, I mean, at least uh, you know it looks kind of. Uh, I have the pawn center. There's some potential. Uh, no, of course. So obviously, this is like a better. Like this is the way to play for black. Mm -hmm. And he does this g6, which is of course just very very dumb. I mean, I don't know. They have to do something to the settings. I mean, that these kind of things are avoided. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, I think that Stockfish, it has the, it works on this uh, settings, right? I mean, it's on parameters. Uh, I mean, if you are a programmer of Stockfish and you see all these games all the time, don't you, I don't know, do something about the weak squares thing, like input that a weak square is bad, no? Or like dark square shouldn't be weak. And make him think that it's, it's the 0, 13 instead of zeros. I don't know. I think it should be fixable. Hard to balance, no? But <clears throat> I don't have a clue. I thought they would, I mean, Stockfish would run a lot of trial and arrow and see what actually worked uh, and such, but uh, again, uh, hmm. yeah. I mean, we are giving a lot of advice to, to, to Stockfish programmer, but he's not doing that bad because in the I final, sure they know what and doing. <laughs> it's minus two since uh, last three games. No, but, but I think it has, it has more potential than Lila because Lila hey, has these bugs that I cannot, you cannot get them out of the system, yeah, like the perpetual checks. They are ingrained in the way it thinks. Whereas uh, Stockfish is something that is like built on the factors, and as long as you improve all these parameters and factors, you can. What, you what can... do you mean with perpetual checks? Sorry. Uh, like, um... I mean, if from afar it sees the uh, the repetition, it will say that white is better because there is a chance that you will not make it yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Where, so it will always say that it's better when there is a repetition in the end. It yeah. is like a fundamental. Yeah, yeah. Not a bug, but so like you would say it's a free roll. I have at least a draw, yeah. so who knows? Yes, Maybe yes. it'll be better. But... Uh, yeah, whereas Stockfish does not have that, for example, that shortcoming. Yeah. It drives me crazy just if you read on your screen 0 20 and it's a perpetual. like. Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the, in the last game, actually, this opposite color bishop where the queen was hanging around with the bishop. 
it was kind of showing there was 30 till the mm. very end. So that's a good point for Manish. So Anish, we should probably allow you to rest a little before your match against Jorn, because as we yeah. discussed, Jorn is very lucky slash resilient. Any closing statements you want to make? You're obviously welcome okay. to keep ca keep hanging out, but you also need to, you know, keep the packing order, I guess. No, no, I'm uh, very happy to see a lot of shows these days by all your, your people. And uh, I think this uh, lockdown has given us uh, an opportunity, you know, to... Uh, engage more with the chess community, which is which is great, and we get to see, uh, you know, we get to see you more on camera doing uh, exciting things, and also uh, Laura and uh, PH, you know, maybe they wouldn't have joined uh, for a show like that had there been, um, uh, you know, not not a lockdown situation. So there there are some positive things there, and I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy that you're doing a lot of shows, and yeah, I'm looking forward to to watch more. Even I mean, every day there is something yet. Yeah? Today also there is this, uh, apart from my uh, great match with Jordan, there is also these other things from the Pepe Cuenca event. Today there's uh, Svidler is playing Vidit, I think. That's, yeah, Svidler is playing Vidit, so he can't play you. Then there is another match in the afternoon. There's your match against Jordan. It's a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, I mean, in, in some way this is, uh, yeah, this is the, the positive thing from this negative uh, you know, happening in in general. So that's uh, that's nice. And uh, yeah, well, thanks for uh, for asking me. And I'm happy to have, to have joined. And uh, and also, actually, I was not really into these matches of TSEC. I thought it's kind of stupid thing to follow it. Like I thought it's not really like you know, it's not really cool. Like if you follow this computer matches, like it means that you are not cool person. But then P PH kept tweeting nonstop that it got ignited my interest. And yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> Thank so you. you're saying you thought it wasn't cool, but then you no. saw PH was into it, so you changed your mind. That's not how I phrased it. I'm glad you exist. <laughs> I can only say that. You twisted my words like a good journalist, but what <laughs> I meant to say is that, like, you know, I mean, it's constantly on my feed, and I want to see, like, what he says, to what extent it is nonsense. So I click on the link, then I see the <laughs> game, then I see, well, game is actually not so stupid. So, like this, I, yeah, it's ignited. I think this game is very fascinating right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a great, but I'm very curious also if it will convert because the evaluation of 0 0.70 for such a beautiful position is not that high. Uh, Buckfish is not worried so anymore. And uh, the thing is also, you know, the uh, the stockfish, the problem is it doesn't see danger at all. Yeah, so it might uh, allow even further strategic concessions somehow. But let's see. Yeah, let's, it's always a question whether you convert these beautiful things. Let's mm -hmm. see. Oh, one, right. one last question. One last, sorry, one last question. I forgot to to ask. I wanted to ask, like, uh, who are you? When I asked who are you rooting for, I actually really meant it. Like, you probably have some one of the two engines that you want to do well deep inside. And which engine is that for you? All I feel you. deep inside that I want Leela to do well because I respect him more for his deeper understanding, which maybe only helps you when you look at random openings. But you feel like you want that guy to win. <coughs> yeah, it's so good at understanding the game it's like peter would say it's like a peter heine against laurent match yeah um, exactly <laughs> and that's exactly why i'm voting for stockfish just yeah, just, yeah. To annoy, just to annoy peter i mean this is a, my only uh, point that girl to win apologies lila is female of course oh, that's true yeah but uh, no and i he, think yeah yeah of I'm course peter is voting for lila, lila. So just yeah. no no question about it yeah rooting for lila yeah uh, the Peter? Nice, it's nice. I mean, I see it as human understanding somehow. I mean, uh, yeah, I understand. I mean, in, in some way, you associate uh, yourself or a human more with you more, yeah, more with Lila than with Stockfish. Uh, it's nice if, if our game is not only calculation, but there is actually something deeper understanding in it. And of course, uh, well, it had to be a computer because it's too hopeless to manage for the for the human. It, yeah, I see. I feel, no, because, it's nice. And it doesn't uh, like the shortcomings of the engines. They don't frustrate you when you watch. Like that, don't you? Like sometimes feel like, okay, come on, you are such a great engine. You better than this, no? Yeah, <laughs> to some extent. But okay. Also, anyway, we all I mean, feel like we're geniuses who understand the game very deeply and are only being held back by our lack of ability to calculate a million positions per second, no? So to see Leela suffering you, from the same you, yeah. problem.
But don't you think that uh, it's actually true? Like, for example, if uh, you show this position to Grandmaster with the knight on e5, like any Grandmaster just says it's good for white, and then, like, so don't you believe we do have some superior understanding mm. to the engines? I'm not sure. Like, it looks nice for white, but we're also pawn down. C3 is weak, A2 is weak. Is it that obvious? Like, half serious question. Mm. Can yeah, you count? It feels like right. Stockfish was teaching us all that we were wrong, but Leela gives us some hope that maybe we were not that wrong after right. all, right? I mean, of course we will be wrong quite often, but somehow it's... Uh... Yeah, that's exactly also what I what I felt, that like uh, like the uh, the fact that Stockfish is so strong, we would never be able to prove certain dogmas that we have. And mm -hmm. with, with Leela, you, it is a tool that helps you prove your own understanding to some, some extent. Something like that, yes. But I, I, it, with that logic, I understand that most of you uh, root for uh, Lila, and of course, then R Laurent has to be the special. Laurent one. has to be the. We need a villain, right? So we have Laurent and stuck. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you guys. Then Good I'll... to end on a high note. Yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you so high, much, Anish. Best of luck against Jorn. Even though we're kind of rooting. How, who are we rooting for, Laurent? Who are you rooting for? I mean, also... Come on, is, is, is that a joke? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> such an obvious. Uh... Okay. Okay, shall I leave the show? Of course, I'm voting for my friend, my brother, Jordan. <laughs> thanks, Anish. Bye. We'll watch later. Cheers. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Laurent, how was it for you? Was it too tense or was it okay? No, no, it was very, very, very nice. No, I thought he's a nice guy. No. It's yeah, hard to... but when... yeah, no, but uh, he tweets sometimes a bit. Uh... They actually. I think some of you made a good point that chess is a bit lacking a villain at the moment, right? Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, yeah, we have a bunch of nice guys, but yeah, Hikaru is really no longer a villain character. He's very mellow. He also doesn't play that many of the top tournaments. I think Nepomnishi has some potential with his antics on over the board. Sometimes Magnus, but he's also too too dominant to be the villain. So it's yeah. a bit unclear to me. Yeah, of course, no. Gitchuk is very funny, but he's not really... Uh, he's beloved, he's not no, no one thinks no. of him as a villain. Yeah. I mean, Hikaru is even extremely politically correct when he's tweeting and things like that, right? Yeah. But look at that, very interesting. Uh, I mean, like, Lila came to 150, advent, I mean, Edge, and Stockfish is still on zeros. Wow. I mean, that's amazing, actually. After Hook takes B1. So... Yeah, we'll be testing to know what's what's going on here. I, I will just take a short break if you uh, come along wow. too. Wow, now that Anish is gone. Yeah, <coughs> it it was, I need to, to, you know, like to, to relax. But like, look at the lines they're suggesting. You relax a little. <laughs> yeah. Rook B1, Rook B1. Um, then, Lee, sorry, Stockfish wants to play Rook B8. Mm -hmm. And he says that takes, takes. Uh, knight d7. Uh, queen b1 takes a2 is a draw. Looks lost, no? With the pawn on f6, how could this be a draw? Yeah, I have no clue. But what Me I wanted neither. to say that uh, from what I saw from the site, Leela doesn't want to take the piece. He wants to play h4 instead. So queen on b8, bishop on d7, yeah, exactly. h4 here. And it, that was it, it thinks is extremely strong. Bishop somewhere, it exchanges queens or what? No, that's I have no idea, me. yeah. I'm only reading aloud. It is actually, yeah. h4, bishop a4, and then queen h8, exchanging queens, and then comes the king up uh, somewhere. Wow, that'd be cool if this was winning. Huh. Could very well be, no? It might be, actually. The... The black king is... Comp you cannot defend f7 and uh, get the king out, right? Yeah, it looks very tough. Uh -huh. Bishop e8, you block your own king in it again, so it still doesn't get yeah, out. Yeah, and... Uh, well... Yeah, I don't know. that's what Anish was also hinting at, no? Like this quote-unquote human understanding sometimes shines through. H4 is cool, though. I wouldn't play h4, I'd take the bishop. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Let's check back in with 
our TCEC friends. Are you active in this chat here? I can't wait to, so I can start chatting. Me? I was not really capable of logging in. I think now it will it will kick you out, right? No, I have a feeling I might I might have passed the hour. Oh. See? Boom! Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Maybe it is personal and I can get in. I tried yeah. typing it. But I mean, if Stockfish actually has gotten this completely wrong, it's also pretty fascinating. Why would that be? Mm. I don't know. Horizon thing? Maybe he just assumed H400. Yeah, maybe it yeah. doesn't pop up in it. Uh, or maybe also, well, it's also not impossible that there is some kind of exact line. Oh, this is interesting. What is the time? Stockfish still has an hour left. Yeah. We will see soon. I like this community already. People are being nice. They're saying hi. They're saying fantastic show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank yeah. you, Peter, for alerting me, at least, of the existence. Well, I knew about the event, but I didn't know there was a live chat and a community and like... Somehow that they had, well, where did you, how did you think we got the games from? Just, uh... I was just using the fantastic Chess24 website and downloading the PGN for the match. But I, exactly, but where do you think Chess24 I understand from? they're being played somewhere. I'm saying, I was not aware of all the stuff going on, on this okay. website. Sure. Boom. Yeah. Still, Chess24.com, great website too. 40% yeah. of premium, cold stay at home, allows you to watch all the video series, challenge all the superstars in Pantoblitz. This is also a bit funny. Stockfish is actually thinking at this point, right? Mm. After Rook B8, do they have yeah. like a minimum thinking time? Is that like the computer's version of you have to sit on your hands before you make a move? I would guess so. I don't know actually what the algorithm is, but I thought maybe it uses some kind of percentage of the time it has left, but I don't know. Stockfish still thinks everything is great, and uh, Lila thinks kicking. Uh, so. That's the next question, Jan. Imagine that, well, we actually exchange the queens, right? But mm -hmm. then we end up with um, an ending where you have a king on f8, and uh, are you going to win it? Let's say you have a bishop on f1 defending the pawn on a6. You also have to break down black's position. Mm -hmm. Let's let's make some moves, maybe, no? Ah, oh, we got some expertise back now. Already? Yeah, this is a good tandem, yeah? You know, um, Coach Joseph is doing a show three times a week during this lockdown. Queen and... No, you, sh you should keep the... You should keep Queen and Knight against Queen and Bishop. But Coach Yosef, that's one of the things I'm not so sure about with the method. Because he's basically saying exchange everything until you have Queen Knight versus Queen Bishop. But, but he's right. Look, I mean, look at the game. I mean, I Lila is making... It's a very specific position. My point is, if you do stats on Queen Knight versus Queen Bishop, it's still 52% for Queen Bishop. So I didn't dare to bring it up in this method in chess series. But I wasn't so sure that's the way to win every game. Also very nice. I mean, me and Jan has been sitting here analyzing the position. Press comments and makes a bold statement, not giving you know us the, the slightest chance that we have actually looked at it and have, have some clue, right? Um, Great Helm is asking <laughs> which chat are they interacting with? All the chats, the Twitch chat, the Chess Twenty Four chat, my new BFFs at the TCEC, we're everywhere. Twitter? No, we are not on on YouTube and uh, Twitch. But is this winning? Let's say the king gets to C five and your bishop is an F one. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Let's make moves. H4 play. It's a cool move, no matter what. Now, I don't know. Humanly, I'd go A4, A5, but. Yeah. You should. Not sure. No? I need to. <laughs> now we need to pick up some. I mean, the April it, it does happen in some of the games that. Suddenly, after a very long while, Stockfish, ah, okay, actually, you were right. I mean, this could happen here as well. 
<clears throat> yeah. But let's calculate like king b6. I'm sorry. Like, okay, let's, ah, uh, knight c6. Some knight before yeah. it. <laughs> Maybe you have to go bishop c4 actually to have e5 after knight b4. But he just wants king d7 and then takes, I guess, this wins uh, for black uh, king c6. That didn't go so well. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it holds, who knows? Yeah. So you think stockfish is right, yeah? Which would be quite... Uh, I'll talk about better understanding by Lila. Maybe, and then maybe h4 blunder. Maybe take the bishop like a normal person. How can this be a draw? This looks great for white. Okay, no clue. I think it just gave zeros, yeah. It looks good for white though, right? We have an extra knight. Again, if someone said to me it was plus 12, I would believe them. Exactly. <clears throat> Even me, if I would tell you that? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> oh, but I'm curious. This ending is just a draw. Really? Probably it is. Hmm. We don't know yet. Are we turning on Lila already? We just praised him for his deep understanding. Maybe he has some. No, C4 but I think it's. Uh, I mean. Well, Leela is guessing to some extent, right? Oh, it's, I mean, Leela actually feels things, so I don't know how to, 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 to call it, right? But, uh, I mean, it's very human to think this is close to winning. I mean, we both thought it's winning, but... Uh... Yeah, but the how they got here is a part of the narrative as well, no? Like him refusing to take on D7, play H4. Yeah, yeah. We trust you, Leela. So Laurent, what is your hair plan during this pandemic? Will I'm, you I'm cut your hair yourself at some point or you just wait? I'm just waiting, but uh, I start having problems. And uh, I must say that one uh, friend of mine and colleague mocked me about my haircut. And that was the only one. Who was it? <laughs> some, some guy on the show started to mock me about my, my haircut and uh, yeah, that There's was one very... specific picture, but okay. That's, uh, yeah. Was it me really... or Peter? I can't recall. I don't think it, I did it, but... It was Peter oh, and you are laughing. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, okay. For Peter, he doesn't... He likes to have long hair, no? I have a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know how to cut your, your hair yourself, Jan? I don't. I've thought about just shaving my head. What do you think? That I think I could do. Yeah. A hot no. <laughs> I don't know. Laurent is <laughs> very polite on camera. Oh, come on. Not. <laughs> <laughs> we, we saw one very polite guy on camera who is uh, Anish, no? He's, uh, he's also, he has a bit of Peter Politician in him, no? He gave all these nice speeches, thanking Chess24 for doing all these shows and all that stuff. Like he's, and then on he's Twitter, I'm showing better. a couple of hours, I will get uh, bullied w w one more time, yeah? About uh, some... He, he, uh, just, he, he did actually just get invited to the tournament, right? I mean... Yeah, yeah so he already got his invites, now he can speak his true, mind again, no? Yeah. <laughs> he's thinking more than one move ahead. Could be. It annoys me that this is just a draw, but maybe it is. Should you actually keep queens on? Probably not, no. But the whole plan was to go for this endgame, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, it doesn't feel like with queens on, I put my bishop somewhere. How do you break through? <clears throat> it's... Knight takes g6 at some point, but I... yeah. it's probably not winning either. Mm. Mm -hmm. And if I try another defensive plan, let's say I... I go to a4 with my... I, I don't even need that, yeah, actually. 
I go to A4 with my uh, pawn. What do you mean in the end game? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Is that losing or? And then I go to E2, D1. Maybe that's just very, very simple, no? Could be. We can't take on A4 ever. How do we make progress? Hmm. Yeah. That was my... Now we can ah, take... Bishop C2, King C3, yeah? Oh, what? So the king can't go to f8, but if it stays close, then I guess it's nothing. Yeah? Why, why knight b2, bishop c2, king c3 doesn't work? He just doesn't care. Okay, I had to. So can't play. Maybe we need to go a3 first here or something? Yeah, or g3. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just but make still, all the useful moves. Like, uh... <laughs> no, no, because e5, king e6 will come, yeah? I can even go bishop e2 actually. Knight a4, e5. Or king d6 and... Well, at least we should actually mention this uh, human thing of not believing in fortresses. We have to talk about our boss. Yeah. Even this is okay, yeah? If the king gets out here, you're right. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't look at all like a Lee level win. Ah, it took. Okay. And it's 143. So this is one of the shortcuts. I'm praising Anish now. Uh, one of the shortcuts Anish was talking about, which uh, Lila thinks uh, Stockfish has a lot of ways to go home. That's why he's evaluating 143, but actually it's just a door. Yeah. In my uh, French opinion. I think it's more like it actually, well, I don't know. How do you evaluate a position like this? I mean, Lila thinks that uh, the knight on e5 is dominant, the pawn on f6, it all looks great. And somehow it, it adds up to having a huge chance that this will win, while Stockfish is apparently calculate, able to calculate that there's no way to break through, right? Yeah. I think, well, it's the typical pattern also that uh, Lila will be better and think it's better, but Stockfish will outcalculate and uh, somehow manage to save it based on that. Gorgon Zola is saying Lila tends to overestimate positions where only she can play for the win. Reason in her training games there is some intentional randomness included, which favors the better side. Okay, that makes sense as well. <clears throat> Sorry, well, I didn't have that. That's why I mean, as you said, when there is a special, it will overrate it a bit because uh, well, you could win while uh, I mean overrated a bit. I mean, like one forty. Uh, this massive, is not a no? perpetual. I mean, here it, it thinks that its position is dominating at, uh, well, it feels there should be a way to break through, which there probably is, right? But, um... I mean, this is... I'm now pretty, pretty sure that... I agree. Mm. I simply don't see it. You so, feel yeah, deceived, that's... or...? I mean, also, let's see if it actually is going to draw it or it might even lose. Ah. Yeah. You think it could lose? Of course, if it doesn't want to repeat because it shows 140s and it could do I some... mean, either you start realizing it's uh, equal or else. I mean, well, but... let's say you play G4 at some point. Maybe you still think you're better. Probably you still. I mean, are not worse. But, but uh, Jan, maybe let's show to the viewers the game we mentioned a uh, few times here that after move 49, he didn't want to repeat. And uh, <coughs> Which one is it? Do you recall the opening? Then I can find it easier. Um, I think it was this... I'm afraid to say something. I think it was some peak, but I'm not really sure. Right, this one? Yeah. Yeah, this one. Exactly. Uh -huh. Show move, uh... move 40 or something? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, exactly. It's Maybe like this, yeah. Sort of similar, yeah? He has this control of the center. Yeah, so he's just moving around, plays f4, move 59. I think actually this one was extremely similar, that uh, Lila was thinking he had a huge edge, while Stuckler just said no. And, um... This is just a dead door, and, and then he's going f5. Move 82. Oh, 
so he could lose, yeah. I think. Like, so he thinks after f5 I... he's still better, or why would he do that? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not. It's still a though, huh? For me, the weird part is not f5, but g6 later on. Okay, so still a draw moving around. One, one uh, move on, uh, 130 is playing g6. <laughs> like... Well, you can see it's getting into the 50 move rule and it has to make a decision. Should I just accept yeah, it or not? 29, and here mm -hmm. he's playing g6, just not to. Really That's... thinks the stockfish is a patzer, yeah? Giving a pawn to avoid 50 move rule every time. And no, now it's I mean, Again, you can't believe that you have a huge attack here. But, uh, probably it missed some tactic along the way. Yeah, that was really. I mean, like G6, how does he evaluate after G6? Can he evaluate really better for white? I mean, chances to go wrong for black, yeah, but this is a bit. Uh... I mean, again, it's easy for you because you know the result. I mean, it could also be winning uh, tactically with some rook dropping on g1, uh, completely random, right? Yeah, but Stockfish wouldn't allow it if it was winning tactically, no? Like... No, but again, it, Leela doesn't understand it's playing stock. Just, uh... <laughs> Stupid computers. Yeah. They don't even know who they're dealing with. Oh, well, maybe if you trained it only playing Stockfish, it would stop making such things, right? I don't know, that's again. Grandmaster oh. ASR is telling us. Who's that? Alan Steak probably, yeah? Greetings. Yep. I suppose you want two different versions of Leela. One for qualifying with contempt and one for the final without. Does Leela have contempt built in when it's playing Stockfish or these things in general? I don't think so, else I mean... By contempt, we should maybe explain. It means that the engine somewhat overrates his own position to stop it from making a draw against puny humans. Simplified explanation, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, for instance, when Smurdan was playing against um, Komodo, they gave uh, Komodo a lot of contempt because else Komodo might just start, uh, you know, swapping down. But it's, uh, well. It's a sort of artificial way to make um, the computer keep pieces on the board to keep it complicated because it's trying to avoid simplification. No, but these things can, can happen easily. It can even happen in this game as, as well. I don't see it as easily happening here, but uh, it, it definitely could uh, in a way. Did we talk about this plan against the Budapest? I like this, this E3 yeah. F4 business. Completely insane, yeah? I mean... So they, this is the position they were given, yeah, I'm assuming. They have to play this. Maybe one or two moves more, I'm not completely sure. But, but that's um, important. If, are they forced to play E3 or is this... Well, I think that person? if you look at the, the game with reverse color, they also played e, E3. So I think that probably was included. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. on my screen at least, Stockfish also gives E3 as the first move in this position. So I was curious. You could, you could be right, I'm, I'm not sure. But just, I mean, well, look at the position they get here in a couple of moves, right? Knight e2. Actually, long term strategically, it's nice for white. No, Yosef would give a speech about the outpost on t5 yeah. and how it's basically winning, no? <laughs> it's his right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not okay, saying it's wrong, right. but that's. that's no, I mean, like, long term, it's. Uh, so it means that black has to be dynamic. And yeah. actually, is a. It's what, it's what he did. G3. So also yeah. bishop, G3 and bishop B2, right? I mm. mean... Bishop F6, threatening bishop C3, bishop D2. Why not bishop B2? There's some trick, yeah? No, just weakening this pawn, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I mean, again, you're just too logical. You're trying to put pieces on nice squares while he's there. No, it's just flawed pattern recognition here. Yeah? Bishop b2. Yeah. Weakening the e3 pawn. Oh, bishop f3, rook g1. I mean, doesn't it just look so ugly for white? I mean, if you look at it at a glimpse, it looks like a pass up thing to my, to my mind. Yeah, then again, if you consolidate your pattern also, like. Uh, yeah, but I mean, just the. the I mean. 
group two. No, White well, should be clearly three. better here. It actually plays it beautifully for a while and then it doesn't win it. But uh, H6. What a fish. Well, the, we have to explain. The threat is king f2 and g4. Well, this is what more or less happens. I mean, suddenly black's pieces are going to be repelled. Yeah, it's good stuff. And maybe if you were always wondering what do I do against the Budapest, maybe this is a simple enough system to play. I recall Kramnik played knight h3 here and even that was somewhat more pleasant for white. Maybe this f4 is good. But that's a bit of the interesting thing with these chess things, that uh, with this tournament, that, well, they get to play some, you know, slightly off-bid line. And, uh, well, obviously, no very serious players has to play this in important events because white has... Maybe too simple, good, good ways like bishop f4. You well, this get is a, just a like, small edge for white, so we never felt exactly. the need to research more. No? <laughs> but I mean, if you start digging in this sort of uh, side lines, a lot of interesting uh, content suddenly appears, which has no big practical implications because uh, white can do even better. But uh, well, it's interesting in the end. Oh, sure. Well, if you. No, and I'm not sure if bishop f4 is better, no? Like, if this is good for white, it could be really... No, exactly. I mean, it, it could actually be that we have just been lazy and found something that's slightly better and pleasant, while this is... Uh, well, again, here, it looks like a pair of bishops, right? But they... Uh, somehow, black's position is somewhat broken. Well, you can call it laziness, or we can just say that we have uh, other concerns, yeah? Like... Queen's Gambit declined or Grunfeld or... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there's better openings than uh, Budapest, mm -hmm. I guess. Well, obviously. I mean, it's not... I mean, may, maybe Even Budapest this, is better. I mean, I think here... Uh, Stockfish in the beginning was saying it was a dead draw. Then Leela was quite optimistic. But actually, in the end, at some point, Stockfish thought he was lost, but Leela was not able to play the exact moves. Well, even you look at it, its material is uh, equal, but it's a queen against two rooks. But still, it quite favors white due to opposite colored bishop. Yeah. No. Well, I thought mainly the opening was fascinating there. For sure. Yeah, that's so. No, even, I mean, like, mm -hmm. one moment which I liked, I mean, like, a couple of moments actually. I mean, the first game where you mocked me, Peter. When you saw that was obvious, but this H5 move was kind of uh, gay uh, to me. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. First game, first game, Jan. First game in your file here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, it brings this weird opening, and then it brings like, okay, you can go just through the moves. <coughs> uh, this one, I, it was the first game, yeah. Yeah. Is this now a Bragozzi in theory position all of a sudden with some random move on it? Looks like, no? I'm not answering my supervisor is here, so... Oh, but <laughs> you cannot <laughs> I, mean, I have the power yes, of ignorance no. on my side. Don't Maybe. you get Maybe. the same position <laughs> via this? <laughs> this is not... Fabiano didn't play this against... Vichy? Or? Yeah, knight c6 wasn't played, but it's the line Cornet gives in his book. So I'm just you curious if it was the same position or if I'm hallucinating. But no, it is the same, just via a very random move order. Because yeah, yeah. cd, ed, bishop f4, yeah. Conventional wisdom would say bishop d6. Should I try to behave I mean? like like Peter, like saying, like, are you sure it's Ragozin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. C6. Are you sure knight d2 is the move here? I mean, knight d2? Yeah, I g5. Wow. wow. That's very, very surprising. So g5, yeah. So now it's pawn down. but And squares. now comes um, bishop e2. What's your views idea to go h5? And now h5, I mean, it was h5. Kind of... Just to, because this hook on h8 will be passive and this hook on h1 is working. So. I guess bishop h5, g4, rook h3, rook f3 was some kind of <laughs> possible. I mean, I'm not sure exactly, but that's I funny. Agree. That's... I actually agree with Laurent. To play h5 here is quite something out of the ordinary. I mean, I mean like, I wouldn't insane. even think about it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, many. Mm -hmm. I mean, not many people would, I guess. No. Wow. This is like... That's why we love Lila. 
Can you count? Yes. Can you count, yeah? <laughs> because she cannot count, yeah? <laughs> okay. And solves all the problems, if there were problems to begin with, yeah? Uh -huh. uh, but this H5, this passive hook on H8, which you exchange, uh, is kind of... And if you take on H5 with a bishop instead of taking with a hook, then you are just self-pinned, which is, again... Um, and we have royalty in the chat. International master Lawrence Trent is saying H5 is the first move wow. I would look at here. He's just on a different level. Yeah. That is impressive. No, this H5 is sick. Yeah. My problem is whenever I see an idea like that, I'm very worried that it will completely mess up my chess. Because now I will think I understand things deeply and I have to give a pawn to exchange rooks. It will just lead to horrible results. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm blaming Lila. No, no, but I, I kind of get your point. That there's like, don't do this at home, but you have to understand it somehow, right? But no, you have to respect it, but it might lead to a somewhat flawed pattern recognition. Or maybe in the long term it will help us. But I'm a bit, bit worried about it, seriously. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, the next one was me who chose it. Um, here. Most of them. At least I think so, yeah? Yeah. Well, just, I mean, put the position after h5, queen a5. Also, this is supposed to be really, really bad for black nowadays, no? No one yeah, plays yeah. pure Skavening, Skavening mm -hmm. anymore. Sure. And no, actually, not... this is one of the opening where a uh, computer lost twice as black, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, I think Skavening is supposed to be real trouble these days. <laughs> Yeah, but it's this. just, this doesn't look so bad, I think. But you're just at least a tempo down compared to all these Sicilians they're discussing, no? These h3, e6, g4, knight no, and so on. No, but it's just what happens next here. Let's say he plays h6. Which... This really they must have put into the code. No, old stockfishers, they would have gone for some long castles g6 here. Come on. Yeah, but that's what G1, I mean. Our understanding was that, well, that's my point exactly. You would think you should crash through with g6. But it actually, well, it plays a6, g6, and then the castle's short. Yeah, that's that's the Leela influence. Yeah. It is pretty cool, though, yeah. But, I mean, well, Stockfish just thinks he's completely winning. I mean, you can see, he'll just make a couple of moves. Castle links f4, queen c7, rook f2, rook b8, rook a8, f1, bishop d7. I mean, again, why is this supposed... I thought this is supposed to be a pretty good shivering for black. Ready? Maybe the spawn on h6. Kasparov yeah, knew, I, but the rest of I us, we didn't that get it. Now, but, I mean, mm. well, you look at Kasparov, Karpov and such. I mean, I don't know. Uh, is this really? Well, no, if this is just horrible for black, which it obviously is, it, it comes pretty strange, right? Yeah, I'm you getting more used to this, but yeah, it's still a bit shocking. I well, agree. you would just think you could go rogue fb8, and the bishop f8 will always cover the mate. And He's completely self-blocked, and when you play f5, you put a knight on e5. That's what I, how I understood it by seeing Kasparov games when I was young. I mean, well, now it looks like a flag is dead lost, but that wasn't how it was supposed to be. Hmm. Lawrence Trent is saying, this is all in my notes. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I think it plays some kind of move like knight a2 soon. I guess that's implying... Queen C3 or something like that now. Well, the B5 pawn is a weak. Completely. Uh, Lawrence is still in Hamburg? I don't know, actually. Like, <laughs> I hope back, not, yeah. but <laughs> at least yeah. I don't think we're providing him with shelter anymore. But I don't know where he is. Lawrence, where are you these days? Only one the nice game, yeah. Yeah. It looks like you just put the spawn oh. on h6 and then you play random moves and later on it will be exactly effective. and you just uh, the defense collapses i mean it really seemed like it just that it was completely crushing and uh, here it is and, uh, yeah and now well again it's not made it's just a winning pawn and i mean no wow. any he's still in the office look at that living on the couch just haven't told anyone I would think it's there's a 42 percent chance that's just true i, I haven't been to the office so it's very possible. That's a lot of space. 
Yeah, you've you've seen the new basement, right? It's like a properly equipped flat. There's a shower, kitchen, two rooms. <clears throat> Could be. Could be. How are you saying? Nah, back home. Hmm. Nah, I I believe the office story. Yeah, this is a nice game. Well, yeah, this H6 trend. To me at least. We're slowly <coughs> getting used to it, but it's still so shocking. Yeah, and what uh, the next game is kind of just... Wow, just he drew show. some some Dutch? That's amazing. Yeah, but he's playing this lane guard like a bad stone wall. Okay, but it's already pretty bad position, no? Maybe you have to switch to E65 try to make a draw. Yeah, but that's what, that was funny, <laughs> because when you look at openings, it's what Peter said, yeah? This is that bad that you have to switch to stone wall. To very passive Stonewall actually with Bishop on G7, which I guess has nothing to do there. That's not why I chose this game. Against me, 100% of people I, I play did. this line, and I know it's bad, but I can never decide what to do. Yeah. Queen B3 is good, E4 is good, C5 is good, but it's, it's very scary. I have the same. I'm always a bit worried. Yeah, they go yeah, E4, H6, was... G5, and, you know. I I was leading the Danish playoff in uh, I think 90, 96. 2 0 with two games to go, and I was wide in the plate this time. I lost horribly to Danielson, who managed to come back from being 2 0 behind. So I have some trauma there. I did win in the end, so it's not too bad. But it's a scary system, although it's probably. No, it's bad. it's bad, but it always. I'm never that comfortable over the board. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell anybody. Mm, yeah. So e6, rookie 1, 94, queen c2, d5. That's how Magnus. No, I just wanted to show that, yeah. just to show the. How the horrible of... the Leningrad is in Lila's eyes. And he draws. Yeah, he managed to hold, yeah. And both games, actually, the funny part is that Stockfish as Black did exactly the same when he was forced to play the Leningrad. He played yeah. with E6-D5, so they, are, they just agree on that. No respect but it's for just the Leningrad. Bad. Yeah. Oh, this is, but this is your, you're choosing this game, right, Lohan? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, is, it, is that okay? Or... <laughs> Peter just you wonder why there's nothing happening. I choose two, but yeah. <laughs> you are questioning my, my pick. No, I thought that um, caught my attention, but okay. Hmm? Maybe it's not the test. No, I agree. It's interesting. And like, Lawrence Trent is saying, anything, did, any way did I miss you look at the current game? Yeah, you missed it, Lawrence. We assumed this was just a draw, so we moved on to the past, but maybe there is I still think it's intrigue. Just, yeah, King G3, I mean, King G3 is a sign that, oh, maybe not. He just likes to move on, yeah. Well, if he would get here... He will, he will just move on, go to H6, King F8 will come, he will play G3 at some point, and then go to the King to Queen side, and let's see if he gives a pawn or not at some point. It feels like they could play another 200 moves here, no? Like 50 moves and G3. I mean, it's clear that, to me, that Lila is not going to win and he might, he might lose. Yeah. Lawrence saying, just explain why this is a draw. Because you can't break through, Lawrence. Um, if you go after the A6 pawn, then black is always in time. Let's say whatever. <laughs> yeah, the main term for black is that you have a, a pass, a protected pass pawn, which is kind of huge, actually. This is its pawn. I'm voting more and more for Stockfish. Such, such a beautiful position. I mean, you don't have to think. You and Stockfish, you are... Yeah. You feel um, a mental connection. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to think. You see, Who's now you're same not stuff. Now you lost it, yeah? Ah, oh, sorry. See, that's what, what I get for... <clears throat> trying to explain to things. Now. But yeah, this is the key resource you can't take because king c6 and black wins, so there's no progress to be made here. Therefore, yeah, we couldn't see anything. I mean, there's like not many ideas actually. Just, okay. yeah, it's actually, I mean, we are pretty, pretty sure that it's a door, objectively speaking. Mm -hmm. There you I mean, go. What else can you do, yeah? If you go to h6, let's show that, you just stay. So it's very simple. You just stay on F8. And... Uh, yeah. You have to give Lila. It's a bit of bad luck, right? I mean, you know. 
Oh, it's a skill. I mean, like... Uh... <laughs> so when you lose a game of chess, you think it's bad luck? It's been a while, but no. To me, let's say. Wow. <laughs> <Okay>. <coughs> the chat on Chess24 has really slowed down. It's just Lawrence Trent now. Yeah. Everyone left. Where are my, my TCEC friends? That's still action. Yeah, let's see the Dagon. He's right. I mean, like... Dragon is a very nice one. Peter, Peter selected the Dagon. He's the expert. Uh, so let's... One second. Um, yeah, it looks like... This is just a draw, right? I think so. Okie doke. Let me find Le Dragon. Le Dragon. You don't really want to unleash the drag. Hmm. What is this B6? Ah, oh, they were forced to play B6? That's just draw. Here's a dragon. Draw? Is this yeah. the right game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually this. I think here they are sort of left out of book around here. So sort of they, they are forced to play as queen a5 bishop. Queen a5, they were forced to play, okay. yeah. That's important. Oh, so, like this? And I think, well, h4, h5, bishop g5. Well, this is still mainstream theory. Bishop g5, main move, and here. Are you sure? You're not mixing it up with something else? No. It could be, but this position looks very familiar. H4, H5, and you go bishop, G5, or bishop, H6, or G5. Yeah, but that's, you're thinking of this position with rook, uh, the A rook on C5, right? And uh, Not sure, maybe. Maybe you're right. <laughs> that's what I thought. Um, well, here you played king F8. He thinks bishop F6 is a threat, yeah? I, I mean, in the other yeah. game, in the next game, it was B5, knight D5. And the stockfish won a, a, a nice ending. And now king F8. Knight f6 and takes and bishop f4. And uh -huh. Even to human perspective, it looks uh, sad. Yeah. And he went on to win as well. Oh, but the point is that Stockfish has uh, discovered a beautiful combination here, king f8. So he plays g4. Was that what you tweeted? This h7, bishop h6, bishop g7 yeah, business? Exactly. Yeah, that was cute. Yeah. h5, rook c3, and now h6. Okay, bishop h8, h7. That I thought is an obedient thing. Yeah. That was just a thing. Bishop h6, bishop h6, bishop g7. Exactly, because well, I mean, it happens in the game. So go there, but uh, but it's simply because of the bishop on d7, the threat is back rank made. I mean, mm, that is pretty sick. It's a recapturing. Yeah, I mean, it sacked the rook, right? So well, it goes. Uh, like this, and then takes takes. Oh, sorry, check first, not that it matters. Um, and now bishop g7. Boom. I've never seen anything like this before. Yes, yeah, that's very, very And well, just bishop g7, h8 is over. It is made in a few moves. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Such a luck. <laughs> yeah. But then, almost by magic, black actually has a defense, right? So. Also, that this is winning is sort of fun. Bishop of well, ah, it's, it's actually not winning. Here's your point. But Stockfish oh, no. thinks it's winning. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I mean, is that true? It's not winning? I mean, oh, no. we never know, yeah? Now, this move g5. And uh, sort of, well, it means that rook h8 is actually replied by, by, by knight g6. So he has to take on f8. Peace up. Rook up. Rook, Rook up. up. Few pawns. Actually, it's a typical Dagon stuff, no? Well, this happens, yes no? and no, but the beautiful point is that the Rook on A8 and the Bishop on B3 is completely cut off. They cannot do anything to hinder the pawns, right? Mm -hmm. Very hard. It's very difficult to come back with both of them, yeah? You, you but that, that's the point. Eight. I mean, you can see, well, the Rook is just, well, you can play Rook B8 takes base 7, but he's playing for peanuts while he's trying to clean his uh, stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And the same with the bishop, it's extremely hard to get it around. Very interesting. So he so. plays king c1. And now you have to play bishop h3, right? That's what he did, did at least. 
It, okay. Uh, Threat was F2. Yeah. And now rook d2. And e6. now it's for e6 to block the bishop, right? Uh, the and uh, to block the bishop and stop the, the square on f5. Yeah. I mean, more, more to, to stop knight f5, I think. Complete, well, also, well, you're rook down, but you also have this rook standing on a5, but still you have uh, a lot of counterplay. Now, this is uh, thickening it. Yeah, that's just uh, out of this world, yeah? That's what I thought. I mean, okay, now it's sort of... And yeah, so I'm getting happy. It swaps down to a fortress position. But, okay, uh, this he holds it. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, Lawrence Trent would all of a sudden start playing like Lila? Like, all this talent and enriched by computer-like calculation? Something like this, yeah. I mean, you think if Lawrence would have played that game, we would mock him for that? We would no. certainly accuse him of cheating. and Bishop is cheating. too brilliant, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, Stockfish was doing all the brilliant stuff. Yeah, Leela is just, you know, trying to survive this. It's true. He defended pretty well. Maybe also, I think Leela just got l lucky that there was some resource, right? We saw this game, well, quite in the beginning of the show, where in this King's Indian, was suddenly it was uh, plus six. I mean, and there was no, no comeback here. Maybe it was just lucky that there was actually a comeback in the position. So you think he got well, outcalculated, but then when it was close yeah. enough, he could still find the only moves. Something like that, yes. Mr. Dodge is saying think... Lila did play like Lawrence, but she learns. <laughs> if... okay. Slowly though, right? Yeah. Human help during, I mean, like during game, if we could say like to Lila, just stop, it would be just Make a draw. massacre, yeah? Actually. Do you think we, Laurent, you think we are more mean to Lawrence than to you? Sorry? Can you... you the sort of the, the mocking of Trent is more mean than the mocking of you. Was not, uh, For me, the, the problem mocking... is mocking Trent is like... I don't even realize it. It's just how I communicate with him. While with Laurent, if there's mocking, I still think, ooh, uh, we're pushing our luck a little here. Laurent will get upset. With Trent, I don't even think about it at all. So it feels different. <coughs> No, I mean, like, to tweet about uh, Lawrence, I have to find, but to put uh, me and Lawrence on the same level was a bit hard, I thought. But he or didn't Anish. do that, no? Uh, Anish did. He just, yeah, yeah, but he just thought of Trent and you as people that Magnus likes. No, I don't think he implied it's the same chess level. You don't think so? I don't know. Uh -huh. That's still... Maybe. Still hurt feelings. We're gonna I'm, have to do I'm, this again. I'm, be, I'm becoming paranoid, maybe. Yeah, I think that that's not what he meant. Well, after five tweets a day about <laughs> <laughs> mocking me, I get paranoid. Yes. That's Trent is not that upset about that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I mean, no. also maybe he thought Lawrence Laurent. There was something funny there. I don't know. Like normally, he's just trying to be witty, not to hurt feelings. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> Mr. Dodger is saying, come on, Laurent, show some fighting spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. This, uh... No, but he has a guy fighting Dodger's for Peyton. Is Mr. Dodger's identity known, by the way? Mr. Yeah, Dodger, yeah, Dodger. Some, some guy called... No, I'm not going to reveal his real name. He ah. is from the United Kingdom, and he lives in the Swedish forests. And I have once seen a picture of his online. He also does streams that I've never seen, but I think he probably reveals his identity on these things. Hmm. Yeah, yeah so you can see the chat content is going a bit up and down uh, in the match, right? And now it's going to be, well, Yeah, the problem is this will take for, could take for another three hours, no, which we won't cover here but no. yeah the highs the highs yeah. are very high like some of the highlights you just showed yeah. well maybe it's like how chess was watched in the old days that well if you don't follow it constantly there is actually a lot of content but of course the, i mean well when i mean i grew up following the world championship matches from the newspaper then it really exactly get boring right uh, 
but um, I still feel that Lila could have gotten more out of it, but probably it was tempted to go in this uh, end game direction. But uh, again, uh, we don't know. Who knows what Anish would think? Oh, and I'm reading Anish's tweet, or at least I'm assuming this is Anish's tweet in the Twitch chat. Frasine, this morning in preparation for this epic show, hmm, shall I actually look at the games this time or just talk about Lila Zero Superior <laughs> Mentalité? But he gave. But I he mentioned gave you... this tweet five times already. Yeah, yeah, but I, I hadn't seen the original. <laughs> he I gave you seen. a German accent. The games? Uh, the, that's a, the German accent. No, the, accent. The, because we say the, like. Uh, that. No, no, he gave me a French accent. We okay, are known okay. for, for that. Cause, but uh, I mean, mentality is not is wrong. But, yeah. What Whatever. what would be the right word? I, I know you. Combativité. Combativité. Yeah. Okay. Mentality is a different. Mm -hmm. Pity. Uh, but yeah, this game is pretty. Uh, maybe you have some more example to show us, Peter. You did some great searching. I have more games, it's just tough for me to find the yeah. one you want to see. So click on something we haven't seen before, because there was supposed to be a point in all of it. So. Yeah. Mm, have we oh, seen all the examples saw. that Laurent this gave us? This one maybe we have looked at. No. This one I thought was a bit cool. Um, no, but it's what we learned from this show, that uh, Peter is a cool guy. Like, and he thought it was boring, this computer stuff, and then he saw Peter tweeting about it, and he thought it was cool. No, so but I think it's beautiful, this friendship. It's it's real. No, I mean, like, so then, I mean, when I see a tweet from Peter with a link, I, I don't think it would be cool to click on the link. But that's very personal, maybe. No, but that's what I'm I mean, saying. Anish genuinely thinks Peter is cool, and vice versa. So I think it's just a natural fit. It's beautiful. Yeah. We go you think they are cool, Jan? Hmm? You, do you think they are both cool? I mean, like, I think they are interesting and clever. I, I like both I of mean, them. Like, I struggle with the definition of cool. What, what does it mean in that context? I think they're both I mean, they very cool, interesting. Cool for me, it means that you will get some... Uh, you enjoy this time. And like, when I think of and... cool, I think more of, like, Jules Moussard, like, some suave, yeah, exactly. like, Frenchman in the bars, right? I don't yeah. think of them that way. But it really depends how you define the word. Yeah. I think they have a, a definition of cool, which is pretty similar, Peter and Anish, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, sorry to change the topic. Yeah. But, okay. Well, I mean, I mean, Jan, you would never play as ambitious as this, right? You're just weak into your D6 pawn. You're giving away something else, right? No, I was with um, Lila until here, but G4... Even D6, you would be scared, right? I mean... D6, I didn't like, but then I saw that all other moves were minus one, so I thought it would be too much okay, lack of can, understanding yeah. if I said I would take on C6. Mm. Oh, but D6 and then G4, I mean... Yeah, G4 no. I would never do. But B3. No. But that it finds completely... Well, maybe you just have to act in time, and who gives... Uh, something about uh, if you lose a pawn or something like that. Right? But it's... Uh, it's not like it's winning. It's just uh, well, that's the way to to play the position. But it uh, but it looks like you are completely overreaching by white. But somehow it doesn't really seem to be the case. Yeah, this looks looks way too loose. Uh, it looks sick, right? In some sense, but uh, probably it's just dynamic and uh, intelligent, etc. You play B three and. Uh... And if we just take this stupid pawn, we can checkmate it. Oh uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really, yeah, it does really take care. It actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this feels like some Karpov Kasparov gone very wrong for. Well, ex Taliyan. exactly, yeah. I mean, uh, but then, well, see, it does uh, move rook g1, knight h1 somewhat later. But, uh... Lawrence is saying that. So, sorry, I'm getting back to, to Karpov. Jules Moussa is the Jamesies of the chess world. Actually, Jules, when I said, like, uh -huh. Are you looking at this uh, TCEC? I mean, he was kind of <coughs> completely shocked, I could ask. As, as, <laughs> we all know Jules is not looking at TCEC. <laughs> <laughs> like, I said, I found a nice channel on Twitch, and he looked at me like I'm um, completely gone. Which could be true. Yeah. 
But Laurent, you're on the fence. No, you want to be a cool guy, but you're also a bit interested in this stuff. So like, it's, yeah. I don't know, you're playing both sides here. Mm. Okay, now it becomes an absurdly long game that has no interest. But I just thought that uh, it's a pretty amazing concept where it looks like you're completely overstretching, holding it pretty nicely together. Also, you can't do better in the opening? What position were they given? Like, oh, maybe they were still given h4. Probably they were getting something like this. Okay, h4, h4 he just thinks is the best move everywhere anyway. h4, yeah, h5, yeah. knight d1. This plan I've seen, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, but th this is quite normal. Um, yeah. But I think then black was supposed to react and undermine it. But, uh, you know. <laughs> b5. Hmm? But what are you going to do? Instead of c5, maybe. c5 and then b5, no? I don't know. Instead of b5, some 98 to f5. <coughs> I, I wouldn't be very happy with that. 98 to g4 is coming, no? Then you would play g4. No, I really yeah. thought that uh, there has been some kind of up game in a similar. Maybe Grisha has been black uh, 10 years ago and something similar. Like yeah. Not... Yeah, Grisha could used to like this uh, setup against Simish. This a6. Maybe and actually. This is what we prepared for Vichy for a match just wide. I cannot remember what I'm giving away right a lot. Oh. All right, let's do maybe 10 more minutes for our closing statements and then we can stop clogging the airwaves and all start watching the Anish Giri against Jordan Fab Race. Cool. So the current yeah, position. Compete with, compete with that. No. Current position we still think is just a draw, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm afraid that uh, Jordan has very little chances, yeah, to prevail in that match. What, what's the time control? I think that's what it depends on. No, the slower, the better for Anish, of course. I, I thought it would be rude to mention it to Giri, but uh, Jordan was the highest uh, placed uh, Dutch player in Vikings City, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, if it's three minutes, if it's three plus two. It's hopeless for Jordan, but if it's three minutes, who knows? Not sure how hopeless it is. Jordan is a pretty good blitz player, and I think he knows Anish very well, so not that clear. But of course, Anish should be a favorite. I would guess it's three plus two, or Anish has some increment built in there. Yeah, like he's he's making his, he's his cunning making like this. He's not gonna play three zero or one yeah. zero. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine. I'm reading it's rapid. It's fifteen plus ten. Ah, oh, it's okay, like the, come on. It's like the MC Invitational. And I think whoever plays white has to do commentary. So it's some half Bento Blitz thing. Oh, that's an interesting comment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe cool concept, no? <laughs> cool stuff. <laughs> cool stuff. <laughs> I was about to say uh, um, mega Boeing and Peter uh, <laughs> says, oh, what a cool concept. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 15 plus 10 is not really, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's nice for when you have a, but a for a friendly match, it's a bit uh, too strong in my opinion. But, okay. Let's pay the TCEC side one last visit. Lila Zero, or one last visit for this show, I'll spend all my time here now, but Lila Zero yeah. is still saying 160. He thinks it's improving, yeah? I mean. Well, it's King that's why out there. No, okay, he's going to at best draw. He's a, a, as also less time, so could lead to impulsive <laughs> decisions. No. Yeah, well, I mean, well, Lila is a guessing machine, right? I mean, that's what more or less these neural networks are, right? It, uh, and it, well, can you explain that to us in like two minutes? How, how do neural networks work? Yeah, um, I, I'm not teasing, I really, I'm genuinely interested because I never really understood it. Yeah, I think, well, I mean, for instance, a very the typical example of a neural network is something that gets the picture of a let's say a dog or a cat, and it has to guess if it's a dog or a cat, where well, you can train it to, to do like that. Uh, and uh, well, basically, it is the same. I mean, the neural network uh, gets the chess position, and it has to guess if it's uh, winning or draw or lost. And it gives, you know, it's uh, 
Well, like with a dog, you'll say this is 90% the dog, it's 10% the cat. And it's a That's basically... a website, right? Notadog.com or something? Like... <laughs> Again, that sounds very reasonable, but that would, let's say, be a very simple network who has to do that. Then you have to train a network to predict if a chess position is uh, winning or drawn or losing. That's basically what it, 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 it uh, does. So it has seen, I mean, that's why you keep training and training it to become better and better at predicting. And uh, basically like that, it's sort of gotten so, so strong. Um, so I don't know, but my hunch is that if you show it a position, it gives an output of uh, the chance that it's winning or drawn or lost. And, and then basically, it can do that for all positions, and it can figure out which one is the best move, right? And then, well, you you make it go further and further, uh, calculating wise. But basically, I think, yeah, it's trained to figure out, well, uh, sort of recognize the patterns and things like that. While Duckbiz is a completely different entity. I think my start of my explanation was okay. The rest of it is sort of. Nafta42 saying, Lila, zero user training mechanism where it plays games against itself with a very low notes per move and some randomness involved. Yeah, that part I know. I, it then used these games to train a neural network. Yeah, that's still the part I'm struggling with, what Peter tried to explain, to predict the outcome of these training games and the played moves. Yeah, I think a neural network has something called uh, layers, where there is some kind of knowledge uh, hidden in that sort of, and uh, well, the more layers there is, the more complex it, uh, it becomes. But also then it takes, I mean, that's why it takes a long time for Leela to evaluate one position because it actually has to add a lot of information together while Stockfish has much, much less information in, in that sense. But I think, well, one common misconception is that uh, it takes a bunch of time and a bunch of energy to train a network. But when you actually have trained it, it doesn't take so much time to, to use it. I think that the, the Alpha Zero team was uh, not complaining about it, but just saying it was a bit, bit un misunderstood that they had humongous hardware training Alpha Zero, but to actually execute it when you have done the training, it doesn't take as much. Uh, in that they didn't like this narrative. Yeah, but you had all these Google servers, so no wonder. Yeah, but the Google servers was meant to train it, not to execute it, right? So, I mean. If you were lucky enough to have Alpha Zero, I mean, you could run it on on most things, and it would be very strong. So it's well, it's basically it's a bit similar to a brain, right? Where you well, you you train it and you show it a lot of. I mean, Gustafsson has been. You have seen a ton of chess positions, and uh, well, probably Leela and Alpha Zero is the one who's seen by far most chess position in the world. And that then they have this brilliant uh, uh, intuition, um, but they lack some calculation now. But I've seen a lot of plants versus zombies positions or chess position for that matter, and I'm no longer improving. So it's not just seeing them. No, you need to put them together too. Yeah, but that's how your intuition is built up, right? I mean, by seeing a lot of stuff. I think. Well, you are. I mean, you are a poker guy during the pool, right? I think some poker players were saying that um, of the younger ones that well, we might actually be better than Doyle Brunson. Simply oh, because sure. we've played, we have seen more poker hands because we play, play a million hands in a month. Doyle played a million in his life, maybe. No, like it's yeah, something like that. And it, um, I mean, there is some similarities in that. That just that. Well, they are you. Ex well, I think training a network is that uh, you show it positions, you show it the result, and it sort of updates its its weight based on that. And then you have done that. I mean, absurd amount of times it gets better or, or better. Or, well, um, well, they, as I say, you add some kind of rel random element to to experiment, and uh, no, it sounds weird, weird, but uh, I wouldn't have believed it worked if they, uh, you know, haven't proven it like this. But, um, strange entity in some some, some way. <laughs> All right. Makes yeah, fun. thanks a lot. This was interesting for me. I discovered a beautiful new world here, and I'll I'll keep an eye on the stuff. So. You think Leela is now a big favorite with a two-point lead in the match? How significant is that? Are you talking to me? Always. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, well, it, it, two points is quite a lot in, in, in this, this format. Uh, and, uh, well, based on the, the next, on, on the sort of the last 20 games, it actually seems to be playing better. Strangely, though, I would say it also depends a bit on which kind of opening position. If they are Sort of, I mean, well, I guess you can pick an opening position that's favorable for either side. 
and um, it's gonna depend a bit on that. But generally, it looks like Lila is gonna gonna win this event. But uh, I mean, should should Lila actually overpress and lose this again? Who knows? But uh, I have changed my point of view. So yeah, that's 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 that was game. just a very 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 interesting game where it all looked very beautiful for White from the very start, but Stockfish Stockfish was right. I mean, that game, in that particular game, but... yeah. But this is actually time. typical, that uh, Leela will be right in general, but Stockfish will more often be right in principle. But you can also see that Leela didn't lose anything. Well, it thought it was better, it went down somewhere, and okay, it's a draw. Well, no, no one has gotten hurt in that sense. I mean, Leela is, you know, if Leela is just winning one out of five and drawing the rest, it doesn't matter, because yeah. it hasn't actually taken any kind of risk as far as I can see, right? Let's see. Fun new world, yeah. <coughs> see, I'm being so nice. Yeah, it's the first time I'm following that. I mean, I'm not following that closely, but I'm keeping an eye on it and uh, coming to the site is really, really the first time I'm doing that. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of, I'm having fun now. All games, right, I'm Dr. Sausage is saying, on a serious note, is Peter Heine in Lithuania? Hope all is well there. Have, did anything happen in Lithuania? What's going on? We are, we are great here. It's uh, one of the comparatively lesser affected uh, countries. Of course, it's a huge thing here, and I've also been at lockdown in a month, but I think uh, Lithuania is generally the place to be, but uh, even more so right now. No, no worries here. There you go. All I'm right, I think that's it from us. This game will end in a draw, most likely. And thank you so much, Peter and Laurent, for joining the show. It's been thank you. Been good to Always talk to you guys. Thank good you, everybody, job. for watching. Thank you, Anish Giri, and let's all go watch Anish Giri play your fun for us now, or go do something else. Those are the options. But stay at home anyway. Bye. Yeah, that's true. Wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.